Welcome back to the old favourite, which is actually quite a new favourite because it's just come out in this game, obviously. It's a Collingworth FC Create a Club Career Mode. We are back with it. I wasn't going to do this till the second or the third, but I thought I might as well get one done today. I've got nothing else to do. I'm just relaxing after New Year. So I hope everyone has had a happy New Year and Merry Christmas as well. Uh, if you're looking for the experiment series I started the other day, that will be probably tomorrow. I'm going to try and do like alternate uploads kind of things. So like career mode today experiment career mode tomorrow so on like that but i think that's how i'm going to try and do it for the next little while anyway before i go back to work which will be the 10th if i'm sniffing a lot it's because i got a bit of a cold my nose won't stop running so i apologize for that but anyway we are here with season three now if you didn't see the season two finale i'll take a look at where we are just now Bit of a spoiler, I think you already know if you were uh, watching last season. We are now in League One with all these lovely teams. We won't be playing any of this today, we'll be just doing the pre-season tournament to try and get some extra funds in because we need to change the team up a little bit. Now, I love all these guys. They're all very good players, but some of them are just not going to cut the mustard, I'm afraid. We've got no Finley Lucas now because he's fully retired. Let's just um, rejig the teams to where it should be. That's how it should look like. The main starting 11. But I'm also going to change the formation as well. I want to try something. Or try some different formations in... Was Caballero? I don't remember Caballero being injured. But he must have been. I want to try some new formations in this preseason. I also want to try some new combinations in different positions. But I'm also... Going to have a little look, first of all, first and foremost, at how this Youth Academy is looking now. Because we have some good talents in here. Some could be old enough to be called up, and some aren't just yet. I just want to kind of see what we're working with. Isaac Brown finally turned 16. Immediate call up for him. As for uh, Yevtushenko, he could be good. But I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to do with some of these is call them up and then send them out on loan. I think it's probably the move. So, Yevtushenko is one of them. We're going to be calling up quite a lot here at the start of the season. Yeah, but most of them will be going out on a loan deal just to get some experience. We'll go up to Webster, I think, for now and give the others a bit more time. Yeah. In fact, actually, a lot of the potentials are well-rounded. But uh, we'll leave it for now. I think Zorich um, I'm going to cut, unfortunately. Because he could have been good. In fact, no, I won't cut him. I'm going to keep him for now and see how they develop. So, youth development. Everyone's been made, uh, thrill Everyone at the club has been thrilled by the progress made by Youth Academy in recent times. We were hoping to set a future star for our team and you've played a key role in achieving that ambition. Well, we have. Yeah, we've got the future star. Jay Mason, I think, was the one who did that. But anyway, let's take a look at what we've got here. So, confidence rating. We've got youth development, which we've already done with all the players we just signed from the Youth Academy. So that's quite easy. Sign at least three players younger than 20 years of age with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. So that's fine. We've got to get a streak of five wins in home matches this season. We've got to get financial financial goal here gained 17.2 million earnings from shirt sales within a season that might be doable but that this is the problem here because i don't i was a little confident that we were going to win the league title but since i've turned the difficulty up since i made it a bit harder for myself i don't think we are going to win the league title i think my aim realistically would be playoffs but the board won the league title so we'll try and do that best we can reach around the 16 stage in the fa cup it seems to be the same thing each time we've got no continental objectives so what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to put some people up for transfer and put some people up for loan. Now, some are still out on loan. Nikolic, I think he's away till January, so he could stay out on loan. So I'm just going to look at it by overall. Gerbisic, I want him to go out on loan. He's already there. Alan Gallagher, I want gone. Connor Webster, to go on loan. Timur Gallagher, to go on loan again, I think. Chenevier Susak needs the loan move. Um, Taylor Rowland, once we sim a little bit, he'll move. Clubs, Lance, well, some of the loan deals might end as well anyway. Um, well, it's just going out on loan, hopefully. 
Alexei Yartsev, I'm considering keeping in the squad for now. Uh, Jensen Saunders, I'm honestly ready to sell him on completely. I don't think he's going to be that good. I mean, he did score against us last season. Uh, Eulogio Amaral, instead of being low listed, we're going to put him on the transfer list, I'm afraid. Sorry, mate. Jensen Thorne will go out on loan. Dragatine Illich will go out on loan again. There'll be a lot of contract negotiation, but we'll do that more towards January when we know how much money we have left. Yeksov will go out on loan, and Yevtushenko will go out on loan as well. I think everyone else, for now, is in the plans. Either Mezkov or Brown will go out on loan as well, I think. Um, but we'll figure that out when we get there. So, I think that's everything sorted in terms of just starting everything off. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I've missed. Might as well sim up to the uh, first preseason game. We actually do want fullbacks to sign, but at the moment, in fact, actually, before we go any further, I'm just going to dip into the free agents list. I'm going to look for a left back and a right back, and those will be my only, I think, signings because we're strong everywhere else. Roland's gone. We're going to get an absolute flood of emails here. Taylor Roland has gone to Hartlepool. He came up with us to League 1, but now he's going back down to League 2. Lone move could help move your career forward. Uh, Lone move could... You're just all going to get the same reply. Just look at the options. It's just be the top the top option. Jensen, Jensen Thorne is something I see... Or someone I see something in as well. Uh, I was impressed. So I've not really been enjoying my football. I think about Lone I think I'm going to actually start Isaac Brown in the first preseason friendly just to kind of see what he can do. But... Before we do anything else, we're just going to dip into the free agents list. Or even on our um, position thing here, if we've got any fullbacks. Uh, brr, he's not great, is he? There's some decent centre backs here, but we're not looking for centre backs. And there's not really a lot here. Thierry Gay was one I was still looking at, I remember that, but he's actually not as good as what DeAngelis and Gomez have been. Ben Brennan may still be on there. Anyway, let's go into the uh, free agents pile. It's an easy one. We're just going to look separately for left backs and right backs at the moment. Between 16 and 20. Just 20, I think. I think maybe Danny Alves is retired. We could get his regen, perhaps. Um, just kind of looking at all the stats as we're on here. There's nothing special about any of these guys yet. So a lot of Saudi Arabian players. I don't even know what what country is that. Is there a can check? Tim Bosman. We could get him on a Bosman, but I don't want him. Cabezas is quite fast, but his life stats are not great. Last time we tried to sign left back, he ended up being a centre mid. So we need to look at the stats carefully. That's Bruno Caballero. In fact, I'm actually going to thin the ages out even more. I think it's still going to be a lot of free agents anyway, just because of how many free agents there are in this game. Uh, Leandro Castro could be okay. We'll put a little scout on him. I was kind of looking for green green stats, really. Eric Danielson, not particularly. Dyke Graf, he's fast, but that's about it. Yildirim Dursun. Could be alright. We'll put a little scout on him. He's 19 already, though. Telmo Estevez. I don't think he's going to be too good. Um, Mikhail Hansen. We'll put a little scout on him. He's not the fastest, but we can work on that. Some of these might not even be left-back material, really. Oh, Dexter Hurst. Might be decent. I mean, his defending stats leave a lot to be desired, but we can work on them, perhaps. I don't want to put too many people on the list because we won't be able to sign them all. Loki is not great. Um, Lund, defensive, defensive stats aren't great. Juan Madrazo, though. He could be decent. And I'm, I'm wondering if that's Jordi Alba's regen. If Jordi Alba has retired. 
And then we've got Adriano Moraes as well. I'm trying to think. That might be Marcelo's regen. Marcelo and Jordi Alba's regens could be on this list. Nishimura doesn't look too bad either. I don't want to... Like I, said, like I said, I don't want to put too many on here. I think maybe we'll do one more. It won't be Radu. Saavedra maybe. Max Schneider. I want someone who's ridiculously good if I'm going to pick one last person. Max Schuster. Jaroslav Sukap. He looks decent. Uh, Stranad. Could be alright. I don't want to like list a load of left backs because I also want to look for right backs. <laughs> which is a problem. I maybe should have done this off screen looking at new players but it gives you guys an insight into what I'm kind of looking for. Leo Unger could be okay as well. But uh, I think we're sorted. Although, oh... He's fast, but he's not got the great defensive stats. But we're going to leave that for now. And before we look for um, right backs, I just want to see Jordi Alba. Still playing. So it can't be his regen. He's at Lazio now. But Marcelo might be a shout for the uh, Brazilian regen. Uh, just Marcelo. Left back. It doesn't look like he's here. So that could actually be Marcelo's regen. The Brazilian name. I forgot his name. Hold on, let me just go into it. Oh yeah, I also scouting Adam Hlosek. I forgot about that. But we still can't sign him because we're too lower league. And also, we probably won't sign him anyway. But we'll keep him there. Like, it was more to chart his progress because I knew how good he was at FIFA 20 because I signed him and took him to the top. But all these other ones are just scouted, aren't they? They're not... Um, been put on the short list, which is fine. We'll figure that out when we come to it. But also, actually, before we go any further with try to sign someone, we're going to let go of Mihalo Seric, I think. And we're going to put someone good in or better in here. Uh, it's going to be Anton Nyberg. I think we're going to leave the three star, three star for now. And we'll see how much money we have at the end of the transfer window. And potentially we will get another youth scout in. Oh shit, yeah, right backs. I just advanced and realised. Alright, uh, oops. Oh, office message. Transfer budget increase. We've got quite a lot of money. 8.3 million in total. Some of that already been spent. <laughs> but what can you do? Um, yeah, right backs. And just for the record, before we do a search. Danny Alves has retired. So we could see his regen pop up. Which would be quite interesting. Let's take a look at what we've got there on the free agents pile on the right back side of things. It always seems to be that the Saudi Arabian, no offense to Saudi Arabians, but the Saudi Arabian players don't seem to be as good. Some cool names on here, but I can't sign them based off their names. They need to be good. Javi Exposito. I know I said I wasn't looking at names specifically, but the name there for me. Luciano Ferretti could be decent. I feel like that's a Florenzi region, yeah, I don't think he's old enough. Gautier, not too great. Georgiou. Sung Su Hong could be alright, I guess. Maybe not for us, but could be alright. Ivanov. Lecomte, perhaps. I like a guy with good stamina, so we'll get him on the list to look at. I don't know how long these scout reports are going to take either. 18 days. Ugh. Most of January then. I don't want to get too many because I want to get these signed before the actual league season begins. I don't remember when that is. I mean, we've got fast Alejandro Lopez, but no good defensive stats. Jonathan Manning might be okay. Homegrown talent. Colin McGee. Not as good. Santiago Machante. David Martin. So I'm look at all these. I'm gonna quick scan through their stats. And if their stats are half decent, we'll put them on the list. And if they're not, we won't. 
Mikel Perez could look Evie Daniel Alvarez's regen, but he's not good enough yet. German Roldan, Sheving, Schmid maybe. I don't really want to like like have too many on this. Alou's gonna stay, I think, as a backup fullback, which is why I haven't put him on the transfer list yet. And dependent on if we can find a half decent one, we may even have Luca Bailey called up. Or uh, Dragatin Kovacic, I think I'm going to put on loan the Kovacic boy. Um, Ramon, uh, Ramon Velasco, looking decent. Can't scout anyone else, but um, keep that man in the back burner. So we've looked at all, pretty much all left back, right back, free agents from 16 to 19. And we've got our, well, we've got our list of people I'm going to look for, but we don't actually have them because I didn't put them on the transfer hub. But we'll get some scout reports. I believe it's 18 days, so it'll be the 21st. Which is before the league season starts, so that's fine. Also, one thing I need to do before the everything starts, I have to actually send these scouts to... Uh, respective countries. We're all going to do three month, a three month run because we did nine months and I had too many people. He'll go to his home country again. Uh, Nyberg or Nyberg will go to Sweden. Big up Sweden. And then of course David Pearson will be looking for that homegrown talent. I should look for different types of uh, talent really but I'm not doing so I, I just want to see what I get out of everything. So they're all setting up their scouting networks now, we've been told. I just want to make sure we've got everyone on the transfer list that I want on the transfer list. It's easy to do it by rating. Um, Wilkins is still out. He'll be on the transfer list. Oh, he's fit in seven days, but he's going straight on the transfer list. I'm sorry, he's not good enough. His overall's fallen off, and he's 24. We won't be doing shirt numbers till the actual start of the season. And also, I did edit the stadium, but I didn't realise you couldn't edit the kits. So the kits haven't been had anything done with them. Which is annoying. Alan Kane, I don't know, man. I'll give him a run out in pre-season and see how he plays. Uh, Kovacic, he will go on the loan list. But there's a lot of people I need to try and... In fact, actually, might as well get it done and I get it out of the way. There's a lot of people on a year left on their contract. So let's try and sort all that out. For all the people I want to keep, anyway. Um, Nikolic will sort out when he comes back on loan. Jensen Saunders, I don't want to keep. Amaral, don't want to keep. Illic, we'll see. Kovacevic, we'll see. Milosevic, we'll see. Alan Gallagher, I don't want to keep. Luca Bailey... It's the first one we're actually going to go in and try and negotiate his contract a bit more. If I'm not negotiating him now, I'll probably think about it up till January. And when I think about wanting to do it, I will do it. And if I don't want to do it, I will, I'll just leave him expire, kind of thing. But the first one I definitely want to keep around, at least for the short term, is Luca Bailey. He definitely has some talent here. He is going to be sporadic, yes. He knows his uh, sporadicness. He's got another four years with us. Disregard the release clause. And for the wage, I don't know how much I should offer, really. We'll go to 1.5k. See what he says to that. He's happy with that. I probably over I offered over the odds, probably, but I didn't want to lose him. And we are a bigger club now, so we need to offer a bit more wage. Uh, Lorenzo DeAngelis. Oh, that's at the bottom now, that's why. I was going to say, DeAngelis still has a lot of years. <laughs> uh, Josh Guest is one I'm considering. Callum Lees is one I'm not, unfortunately. He's been a good player for this club, but... I think it's time for it to move on. Mika Vuksic, the next one. He's not the best of backup centre backs, but he's there anyway. Still decent. All right. Um, he's gonna be rotation at best, I think. To be honest with you. Uh, we'll do three years. Uh, release clause, don't really care, wage. I mean, he could also have 1.5, because that's what uh, Luca Bailey got. And Vux is just happy with that. I'm probably offering too much wage, really. Um, but at the same time, 
better too much than not enough. Vuksic is down for another few years. Kovacic. He'll probably go out on loan, but we will try and time down to a new contract before he departs. Sporadic. Probably get less game time than Luka Bailey, truth be told. Do another three years for him. Um, release clause is... No release clause is fine. Am I just doing the wage every time? Alright, well... Will you be okay with 1k or will you a bit more? He's happy with 1k. Alright, I might start doing 1k wages at 1.5k's then. Alright, let's see then. Who else? Um, who's next? Dordovic. Uh, we do need to actually sign a backup uh, goalkeeper this transfer window as well. But Roman Leshka. I've had, like, it's on and off relationship with him, but that's mainly because of FIFA 22 itself rather than his actual talent, because we have seen that he can do good. And he is definitely staying on. For long term. Depending on his growth, he might stay the whole time, but we'll see. He wants, okay. Take the appearance bonus off, because you will make those appearances. You want a bit more wage on it? Yeah. I'm actually paying Lishka less than I'm paying Luca Bailey. I've definitely over, I've paid over top for some of the wages, but I didn't know what the right kind of area was. Honestly, it's better to have too much and not enough. Especially if you're a footballer, you want too much. Roman Lish go down for a longer term. Arlo Bourne, probably going to try and get rid of. Nikolai Arlo, we'll get him for another year, I think. And Arlo Bourne, a brilliant left back for season two, especially after Wilkins got injured, but he's 32 and he'll only go down in overall. Uh, yeah, at least Allo knows his new role. He might even have to take a pay cut, to be honest with you. Another year. We'll see you at the end of that, what we're feeling. Uh, talk about salary. I'm going to have to drop him down to 2.5, maybe. Okay, yeah, I, I've, I've overpaid again, but I didn't want to lose him. But we have actually taken quite a bit of a cut there, or Allo's taken quite a bit of a cut there for the team, so I respect that. I think that's everyone for now. These ones I'll either come back to or I'll just not bother with. Um, Illich will probably want to come back to. Kovacevic, I've not really used him. I think he's out on the, I'm going to send him out another loan spell, which I think I already have done. Uh, Milosevic. I don't know about him. I want him to fit, but he literally only works in the right mid position. Gallagher's as good as gone. Amaral, as good as he is, or as good as he was for season one, he's as good as gone. Josh Guest, he he's a good backup, or he has been a good backup, but he's as good as gone. Callum Lees, this is a difficult one, but I don't know. If he doesn't go in this transfer window, then maybe we'll try and get him on another year just to, you know... Just in case injuries occur and we're in a bit of a trouble situation. Because injury things are up. The injury chances are up. Jensen Saunders, you're just not good enough, lad. Dam uh, Damian Dorovic. I'm, I don't know if I want to give him another go. Because I feel like Nikolic or um, Kovacevic could be better. Arlo Bourne, he's another one that's difficult. But he is 32, so he's probably on the way out. So what we're going to do is we're going to sim up to the first game, which I don't I even know who we're against. We're against uh, Michelin first, who we probably won't beat, because they're a Europa League or European Conference League kind of team. We've just been promoting it to League One. I don't think we're getting through this group, realistically, if I'm being honest with you. Josh Guest, happy that he's being sold. And as good as he was off the bench occasionally, he's just not going to be good enough for League One, more or less. And we've got a transfer offer for Shu Hu from Real Valladolid. A quick reject of that one. How about coming in for the players that I do want to sell, rather than the players that I will not sell for any money? Should address, actually, in terms of striker rules as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We've got Shu Hu, obviously... Vyacheslav Volchenkov, and then we've got Luis Lorelatanzio, who I don't know how much more he will actually grow uh, from 66. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a season as potentially the backup striker, or maybe even like he'll still get good game time, but 
I don't, I just don't know how much more he's going to grow. I think he's reached his peak. He has been. He's been very good the first two seasons. He's been a big scorer, especially the first season where he got top scorer. But uh, Shuhu has fully overtaken him. And Volchenkov, obviously not really too built to be a striker, looking at his uh, physicality and his height stuff. But I think he'll do well as well up there. Speaking of Volchenkov, actually, we're going to put him on a development plan for his strength because he is, like, weak as fuck. Potential to be special. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. Um, physicality. We need to kind of strength on him. Which one works on strength? Target man. A 5'5 five five target man. I don't know how that's going to go, but at least it will give him some more strength, which is what he needs. We're also going to try a different formation, but I'm not sure which one yet. Isn't there a play? Isn't there a way you can make multiple team sheets? Oh. Okay. New team sheet. Um. We'll just call it. Just call it second for now. We'll maybe change the name of it. But it's just to maybe try out some new formations. I'll use this team sheet to try out new formations. So still have the four one two one two narrow as the main one probably, but we're gonna just try something different. I want some. I want a bit wider, maybe like this kind of thing. But Alexandre drops back slightly to about here. Um, this is a pro this actually no, never mind. We're not doing that because it's only got one striker. We could do four one two one two wide. It's slightly different, obviously, with the fact that the players are wide on the wings. But um, again, I've transferred so many people to <laughs> centre mids that we don't really have a lot of wide midfielders. It's kind of just to fit some of the people who are wide midfielders and can't play anywhere else, like Milosevic in. So, for example, if I put Milosevic here, in fact, actually. Marius Marin's a bright mid by trade. I forgot about that. Um, I'm thinking. This is just to play around a little bit. I'm not actually going to go with this 100%. This is just an idea. Um, Who was I going to put here? Oh, yeah. Latanzio. He does play left mid as well. But I don't think that's going to work, unfortunately. Um, we need the cam. Because that's Jay Mason. And we need two strikers. What about this? It does... Oh, actually, it does, it does need two CDMs. We won't do that. I don't want to go 4-3-3. I don't like wingers way out. Um, what about this? This could work. But again, it's just getting the wide players. Or maybe translating them to wide players. And Laura Tanzi is not happy with being a wide player. It's just... I do want to switch... Like, people like Milosevic and other players, I do want to fit them in a different kind of formation. But it just... It's hard because, like... I don't want to go wide. And I don't really need to go wide. Um... What about this one? Oh, I already did that. Yeah, no, two CDMs. Am I an idiot? There's no shot I'm going for a five at the back. So that can be... Or a three at the back. It's going to have to be four at the back. Wonder if we do this. <laughs> four, two, four. Look at all that attack. Nah. Um, I don't know. What about the four two three one narrow? We had this for a bit, I believe. I think this is what we initially went with. Obviously, Mason would go here. It's again, it's one striker. I need four and then two strikers. What about just a straight four four two, perhaps? Although Alexandre wouldn't fit in. I don't think we can switch formation with the players I currently have. I think the next best bet is the 4 one 2 2 but just having the players push out a bit on the wings. We really don't have wingers though, that's the thing. Oh, it's so annoying. I mean, once Caballero comes back, he can be that left, like, wing. And Marin's okay with being over, uh, with being over here. I think we run this just for one game and see how it goes. 
Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give um. Put a lot of times up here for just now. I'm gonna sort the whole like squad that I actually want in the game. Obviously in the match menu, but instructions. So stay back while attacking, but also overlap. Uh, stay back while attacking, but also overlap. The main person we need to sign is a left back because Orla Bourne's not gonna be here for the whole season. I really hope. I also can't really accept any offers for Bourne until we get that um, signing. Marius Marin. I don't really know what to do for him. Uh, we'll go free roam, I think. Oh, I'm not getting behind. That's the wrong one. Is it free? This one, free roam. Yep. Uh, Milosevic could also do free roam. This is really just a chance to try out Milosevic because I've not really given myself a good opportunity. Um... A Mason free roam, absolutely. He can do what he wants. But stay on the box, the edge across in case I want you to bang one from range. Sure who will be getting in behind because he's fast as fuck. Uh, Laura Tanzio will probably do the same because he's fast as fuck. With Volchenko, we might switch that up. So we're going to give this a go. Obviously, we're going to lose anyway. Because we're against Mitchell and they're a quality team. I know they're in the Danish league, but they're a quality team. I doubt we'll get out of the group, to be honest. But this is just to kind of try new things out. So, Lishka will stay in goal. I, I, I suppose I'll give Dordovic a chance in one of the games. Alo will stay there. Gomez, DeAngelis and Bourne. Alexandre. Um... Prr. See, some of these uh, formations don't suit half of these players on the bench either. And it's kind of annoying. I'll we'll put Meshkov on the bench. I want to give him a chance. Uh, Isaac Brown will be starting. No, he won't. Oh, no, this is fucked it. The formation's fucked it. You know what, actually? What we're going to do, I've decided. <laughs> we're going to go for the normal for the formation we usually use. Just for the first game. And try out some new players. And then maybe move stuff around after that. But I think there's a reason that we're sticking to this formation. Besides the fact that it's just the best formation in the game. And it's because it just suits all our players. I want to have Tabak there. Oh, we'll have Tabak on the bench. But once I find uh, Brown. Uh, we'll sort that out. Uh, Callum Lees will drop. For... Um, Brown, Tabak, we'll go to the bench. Who else do you want to give a run out? You have Tyshenko, he may be going out alone, but we'll um, mark him on the bench for now. Meshkov. Come on the bench, actually, instead Tabak. Sorry, Tabak. Now, this is the thing with the centre mids. We've got so many good centre mids now that as much as I want to give Tabak a chance, as much as I rate the guy, he may have to go out alone to get some game time. There's just so much youth talent in here. It's difficult to pick which one you want to like. Which ones you want to use? We'll just go with this the first game, and then we'll try. We'll try a different formation the second game. All right. Don't yell at me. I'll just swap. Um, if I can get to him, if I can get to him, there we go. And Marin, swap them around. I'm more comfortable having Marin on the other side. That's there's no real reason to that at all. Um. So, most of these guys are going to go out on loan, realistically. But it's just about which ones will make the cut and which ones won't. Gerbersich honestly might be one to go on the selling pile, but we'll give him a season out on loan just to see how he does. The real problem is we've not got enough depth in the fullback areas, and I don't know how many fullbacks we have in the youth academy, or I don't remember, and I'm not going back now because I've just set up the whole team. Um, I was going to question why we aren't at Roydwood Terrace, and I remember this is a uh, overseas tournament. Um, it's at Molten Road. Technically, we're the home team, but we're not in the home ground. I don't even remember what country this is taking place in. I mean, Molten Road's obviously an England stadium, but like, I don't think it's taking place in England. So we've got Lishka in goal. Born and Allo is a full-back, potentially for the last time. Gomez and DeAngelis as the centre-backs. Alexandre as the CDM. Brown and Marin as the centre-mids. Going to give Brown a run-out, see how he does. 
Uh, Jay Mason, who needs to have the armband. I don't know why he's not got the armband. Oh, my Gomez is taking it upon himself to, to fucking have it. Um, Shuhu and Laura Latanzio up top. I'm gonna. I'm, I've just realised some of these players are gonna start growing so much that we'll just get instant promoted from each league. I think I see why the board is want us to win the league. And honestly, we should be winning the league with this team, but we'll see how it goes. So they're playing a five-two-three. We're playing the four-one-two-one-two narrow. The one we know, the bread and butter. We'll try something different next game, but I just want to see how this team goes. Like I said, Mitchell, this is going to be probably a loss, which I'll accept. I'll get angry, of course, because it's FIFA, but I'll accept that we're going to lose this match beforehand. Uh, it's just kind of to see how players do. Whatever it went in anyway. Our camera lens trained on one man. Youth will have How is this? His, it's his third youngster, season. What do you mean, debut to remember? For the first time. Next on EA TV. It's the third season for Jay Mason in Collingworth Hello Colors. Everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary I instantly called him up as soon as I saw him in my youth academy group stage action from at the, the start of the whole series. But apparently, this is his third you. season, but also Stuart, his debut. Well, thanks, Derek. This is their first pre oh, game. Time for bollocks, to get match fitness, coaches to develop tactics. All right, come on, let's play some good football. And maybe let's act like we're going to actually chance. win League One. Handball against, I believe, um, Isaac Brown there. I'll do all the shirt numbers once we get to the start of the actual season. This is just to kind of see what we're working with. Liska rolled into an early save because there was no marking from the defence. And Liska, this is his make or break season, I think. I know I say that every season, but this really is. Because he has the makings of a good goalkeeper, but by God does he piss me off sometimes. All right, let's see. Mitchell over the corner. Jay Mason knocks it away. I'm really played too much FIFA in the past week because I've been down in England and then I've been celebrating New Year, so I might be a bit rusty on the sticks. Shuhu, I thought Brown was going to make a bit more of a run than that, but he's not really. Without any wide midfielders. Stop talking about being a debut to remember. He's been in this club for three seasons, man. You going to do it next season as well? Isaac Brown! Oh, imagine that start. That was really smooth, flowing attacking football from us there. And if he just scored seven minutes into his debut, that would have been mad. But Olafsson with a good save. Tried to curl it into that corner. Corner kick. Obviously, we're going for the hum human tripod in. for it, but he's kind of backing off, and there's about he's just gone behind about three Michelin players. I'm not sure why. I don't get why exactly that he's done that, but he has done that. Anderson now for Michelin. I'm going to have to try and work on my defence. It's my defending is awful. But it's hard to defend on this game anyway. It doesn't reward it. Well, he is back from injury, though. Yeah, we'll give him that. Jay Mason returning from injury at the end of last season. Well, it's great to see him back out there. But I just hope he's fully fit. It doesn't matter how good he is. Was it the end of last season? I'm trying to remember when it was at the end of last season. But a few games before the end of the season. I think it was when we'd already wrapped up the League 2 title, thankfully. I think it was like eight or nine games before the end of the season he picked up an injury. But he is back and he's rare to... There's nothing much I can the do there with De Angelis. I've pressed the pass and it's just not done it in time. It's Marine. But uh, yeah, Jay Mason returning, hopefully, um, Mason. performs for us. He didn't have as good a season in Season 2 as he did in Marine. Season 1, which is kind of ironic because we won the league in Season 2. Oh, shit ball. off, man. I didn't, I didn't run there. Madsen. And unable to pick out a Pass off the pitch. Ma maybe this is, is... Or maybe we are on the same level as Mitchell. And maybe this isn't as good of a team as I remember. But they're consistently in European competitions. 
I've seen him in, um, I think it was the European Conference this season. Or, sorry, the Europa League. Marin Tolatanzio, Jim Mason. Promising sequence. Oh, he's done it. Isaac Brown. I just can't get through. That was a good ball roll. That was a perfectly timed ball roll from Jim Mason to get around his man, but Isaac Brown just couldn't find that little spot. And he's looking positive, to be fair. Um, I think he's Scottish, the youngest Scotsman. Or he's English, I don't remember. He's looking positive anyway. Long shot saved by Lishka quite comfortably. But Isaac Brown could really fit into this team. Roman Lishka. I don't know if it's going wide. From that camera angle, obviously it looks like it was, but it could be curled in from a different angle. And short it is. They've gone short with it. Chips it in, away by DeAngelis. Shuhu, maybe it'll do enough with it, but he's been tackled on the edge of his own area. His reason he's not a defender. Albert Gomez defends, but doesn't it's get any reward for it. For well, not on the and it's wide from Madsen. Well, he did it's really cool how I defend, but the game's like, really let him have another chance, that's it. Give him another go. And yeah, welcome back. It should, this series should just be called FIFA Complaints. Featuring career mode in the background. <laughs> Marine. More or less what it is. Uh, Marius Marin. Out to Isaac. Okay. Game. Come on. It's a simple pass I'm trying to make. Oh, Should have nice to rocket science to get to the player. Well, handball or offside. One of them given. I think it was a handball. Yet to see a goal in season three yet. Albert Gomez. Nikolai Allo. Oh boy, fucking he ran in. Marius Marin. Marius Marin is another one who I know he has the quality, but he's like 23, 24 now and he's only 70 rated. So I don't know how many more seasons he's got in him. I'd love to keep him for the journey, but I don't know if he can. I've not done that with Jay Mason, just a record. I've moved out of the way of the player. And that's meant to go to Alexandre. So can we get some, like, rewind on that and let me try again? Madsen. Because you mental how many misplaced and passes Hansen. there are that you can't control. Don't want to bring Arla Bourne all the way across. Where is Alexandre? Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. I have no idea where Rafael Alexandre oh. was there. It's blocked by De Angelis, which he's continuing his good form from uh, end of last season. And hopefully that will continue into League One. If it was strong enough defence. There's no way we don't get promoted, I think. Mason. But I did say playoffs is probably the ambition. Who? Now can they make something happen? Jay Mason into Shuhu. Top goal scorer last season got injured for the last game, couldn't hit 30. Him and Latangio both got knocks that ruled them out of the Northampton game. We did lose that 1 0 in the end. Um, but it's not the end of the world because we'd already won the league and we got promoted back point. Madsen. i will try and move a player just to try and get him back into the position. It takes forever, man. Like, oh, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. There was a little foul off the ball there by Alexandre, which is why it's been pulled back. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily. But honestly, sometimes you try and get people to slow down or stop. But I press LT to try and stop them from, like, running all the way past the challenge and try to turn back to stop the ball. But it just feels like it's a delay. Mitchell and have a chance here. It's not a shootable one, but it's a chance to create something when they feel like doing it. Referee, mate, come on. Go on here. Well, can I drag about the wall? I have to have one in the wall. What's going on here? Riff, when do you just say, take it? There we go, That's fucking hell. They wait till I fell asleep to do it and they nearly scored. <laughs> well, not the pass he had in mind. Bro, that was the most annoying fucking bit of play I've seen in a while in this game, which to be fair, I haven't played well, in a week, so... 
Fair enough, but like, Jesus Christ! I didn't know how long that was going to take. <laughs> Lishka has kept us a clean sheet so far, so fair play to him. And when everyone else fell asleep at that free kick, he was wide awake. He meant to stop. And Gomez. Gomez rough at Alexandria. I also take a draw Brown. here against Mitchelland, but. I don't know if we'll get the win. Laura Tanzio trying to find you who has stopped his run. Perfect position to read it. Oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Handball, maybe? Or is it a foul on Latanzio? I don't know. Either way, we've got free kick. And we won't take as long as they took to take theirs. Rafael Alexandra is going to play it short to, I believe it's Brown right there. Short and along the ground. It is. Oh, the pass not oh its target. it wasn't the smartest pass I had to make. Can I please go to the right player that wanted to control, please? Thank you. I say thank you, even though it hasn't given me the right player that wanted yet, but right. I give up Massive. trying. No point in arguing with this game, it knows best. Oh, we're going to have audio issues. Ah, right. Missed those. Really missed those. There's the one thing I miss most about career, not doing career mode. Oh, you fucking, fucking kidding me. They've hit the crossbar. How is that even going to a chance? How is there no marking on that? So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. No goals to show from this game yet. All the issues might persist. And if they do, of course, we'll do the usual of I'm going to fucking throw my headset. But no goals yet. I don't know how Mitchell and haven't put one past us. Roman Lischke's made the saves really well where he's needed to, to be fair. And that one just at the end of the half there, off the woodwork, I don't even know how it's come about. I thought we had defence to cover that. Who else was in our group? I think it was Charleroi and Pacos Ferreira. Uh, Charleroi leading that one 1-0. One Looking at the stats. Possession is quite even, but they've had more of the chances. Five shots to two, as well as 2.5 expected goals to our 0.7. They do probably deserve to win this, and they should be in the lead. But at the same time, I'm ready to fight for a draw. I'm ready to scrap for... Maybe even a Plenty sneak a winner in somewhere. On what we've seen so far, as the second half begins... So, I wonder, I'm just thinking, I off the top of my head, and I think we've had this conversation a few times. When are EA going to make a competent FIFA game where nothing is wrong, or at least next to nothing is wrong? Because here we go with the headset thing, and I apologise if it hurts your ears, but it's on the game's end, there's nothing I can do about it. Gandalf just does enough, but Alexandra gets fouled, even though the ref sees nothing wrong with that. So I don't understand. I don't understand how the referees see nothing wrong with what happened with Alexandre there. I feel like he's caught the man instead of the ball, but it has led to a Mitchell angle, which truthfully has been coming. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it I wanted to try to switch to Allo there, but it didn't happen. And then both my centre backs commit to one man. But I'm not. I've had enough of this game. Just like not giving fouls against me when they're quite clearly fouls. But yet, they'll get the tiniest little thing in their favour. And as well, with the whole audio the thing, again. it just makes you not want to do like stream it. It makes you, it makes you not want to play the game, really. Perfect Ref. Example of to Perfect example of how to tackle. Excuse the fuck out of you. Where is this perfect example on how to tackle then? I've already moved the ball away. Let's just get. I know it's not going to fucking matter anymore, but I've got to move the ball away with Isaac Brown. You are shitting me. That's what's happened. His foot, Bro like, what the fuck am I meant to do? His foot has gone through the ball. 
And that's why it's a clean tackle, because the guy who comes from the back of me got the tiniest touch of the ball tackle. that didn't move because it went through his foot. Or his foot went through it. And they need to get tighter here. Oh, Dan just up his legs a couple more. Tremendous ball. Oh. Oh, audio issues. Go on, doing it good. Alexandre. Guys at Brown. Shoo-hoo. I'd like to break it pace with Menace, but I've not really got a lot of options on here. Jim Mason doesn't want to commit for whatever reason. And now he's overcommitted because he's fucking run offside. What a stupid cunt, man! He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But Maybe stop running when you're is. like behind. And who else is it? Is that Shu Hu or whoever? Latanzio, maybe. Well, whoever didn't have the ball the in that situation. I think it was Latanzio. Sisto coming off for Sims here as my headset decides to give me more annoyance. Just maybe press that a little quicker on my end, but it doesn't matter. I just want I just want a career mode episode to go right. And scope for them to I'm not even talking I'm not even talking about the result in this game. It's more the technical issues that I can't well, control. Because the game sucks and the, therefore the audio so has to suck too. Remaining. Tanzio. Into Shuhu. Right and one more to Mason. That had to be the deflected or saved. Well, I'm not sure how, he's missed the target from there. That's a poor how has he missed that, man? You bet on Jay Mason scoring that. That's for me, we're just taking on with Shuhu. I'm some substitutions as well. We've had a fucking rotter of a game for some players. Meshkov could have a run on. Alan Kane will have a little spell up front. I was thinking of bringing Mason off after that chance, but we do need him realistically. Vidovic will get the chance next game, or Yevtushenko, one of them will get the chance next game. You're also making a substitution. I think it was Hansen for someone. I didn't, didn't read the names, to be honest with you. Try to focus and try to find an equaliser in this fucking dumbass game. Marini coming on for Hansen. Borman's a ball back. Jay Mason, I've not done that, but it might work still. Somehow it has. Shuhu turns his man. We've gotten very lucky there. We've gotten very lucky there, but Shuhu. Starts this season as he ended last season as a goal scoring machine. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, what a it finish at the near post. near post. I thought it was going to be saved, honestly, but nope. Did he not get a hand to it? Somehow we didn't get a hand to it. And we get an equaliser. I'm more surprised than anything, but I'm happy we got the goal. Shuhu makes it one all. So back underway following the equaliser. I'm sorry about the uh, the static stuff. You just have to either persist with it or mute the video because I can't do anything about it. It's the video game itself. I just don't know because it's not done it. I didn't do it last. Well, I didn't do a career mode last year, so I don't know. But I didn't do it for FIFA 20 at all. I don't think. Meshkov to Kane. Oh, it's tackled off him. Meshkov getting his first minutes. Oh, here we go. More of that again. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Allo with a block for a corner to Mitchelland. How is it that I don't play for a week and yet they still don't have this fixed? I shouldn't be surprised actually. The not a lot of fixes get happened in the or not a lot of fixes happen in this game. So I really shouldn't be surprised, but it's a multi billion dollar company. I'm not sure what they're doing besides twiddling their thumbs. Ramada coming off for uh, was it Backer or Kaba? I didn't really pay too much attention.
Kaba. Played over. Well, it has come. DeAndre's heads it away. Press with Jay Mason. Don't get the ball. Not allowed to switch the player on the use. Bourne gets a uh, block in. Meshkov in a bit of trouble. But he's managed to... You know what? Meshkov could be something. Now Nikolai Allo run. But how much more we're going to be seeing these if he's going to be a bench player. And Nikolai Allo trademark runs. Oh, fuck off. I've pressed LB and Y to put that in the air. So why is it gone on the floor then? I don't think it's still... I still don't think it would have made its target. But that's beside the point. Kaba. I think I had enough on the pass. Oh, bruv. Arlo Bourne's without pace by Marini, but luckily it's off target. That's what we need. We need a better pacey kind of fullback. On the left side, anyway. The right side, we've got Arlo, who's pacey enough, and then Bailey, I think, has actually got quite good pace as well. I'm still debating whether to keep Bailey around. Kovacic, I probably will put on loan. If Nikolai is going to be the backup to the new man who comes in. Well, that is um, to play Bailey's going to be third choice, but I, suppose, I, I guess I'll keep him around. Mason Still into Kane. Here, Alan Kane trying to break away. Turn aside. Alan Kane! And you've got we might get a big win over one Bailey. of Denmark's biggest teams. <laughs> Michelin don't know what hit him. And honestly, well, League see, One might not know what's hit it when we get going. Right Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's Alan exactly Kane, back amongst the goals. And as much as I want to keep him around, I think I might have to send him out on loan. Honestly, I probably would have sold him at this point. He's only 59 rated or 60 rated. But um, I just I love the fact that he's, he was such a meme in the first season. And the second season he's been coming around, now the third season well, he could be something. <laughs> Excuse me. And teammates to play it to. And still dangerous. Gomez. Uh, okay, just don't don't let me be Alexandria then to try and receive that, will you? Fucking hell. What the, like, what the hell is going on? I just want the ball. Well, I don't want to fucking have to do a crossword here. puzzle Five to get it back. Left. And just one goal between the sides. Mason. Brown. On to Alexandria, we could just okay, referee. You have to give a foul for side. something at some point. Going well. Isaac Brown's been really good. Meshkov's not had the full time that Brown has had, but he's been decent while he's been on. And that came off the Cross blocked for a corner. corner. Arsenal drawing one all with Man City in real life. And I think it's the only New Year's Day game, but I'm surprised Man City aren't winning. I mean, they probably will win, but I'm surprised they're not winning yet. Albert Gomez, the target. It locks onto him, which it does. Oh, somehow he's lost a header. What? Oh, bruv. Good interception, to be fair, from him there. Just press, press, press. Madsen. I maybe mean, don't press as much now. We need to hold on for four minutes. Arlo Bourne. Not watching his side at all. Arlo gets away. It's behind the Mitchell. I genuinely can't believe sometimes what this game actually gets away with. Alexandre just has no chance there. Roman Lishka has been brilliant today. Full credit to him. I've got to give a, a hands. Even if he does concede Playing and we draw this game, I've got to give a full like, round of applause to Roman Lishka. Sisto, fed over towards the back post. Gomez Sisto heads away. Let's just boot it, Alexandre. Boot it. And there goes the final it's a big win to kick off the preseason group. I think well, Mitchell are the hardest very team very in our group, and we've gone and taken a win off them. I, I don't even know if we deserved victory. it, but we got it. Well, I don't think Stu has anyone can really quibble about. Shuhu getting the equaliser, and then Alan Kane getting the winner. Goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire. You can't argue that there's talent there. You just can't argue. 
It's just I don't know if he'll realise it in the time that we have for this career mode. Brumado getting the Michelin goal, but Shuhu and Alan Kane getting us the victory. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them out. Now looking at stats, we didn't deserve it. 51 to 49 in terms of possession, 11 shots to 6. And 5.7 expected goals to 2.4. All those stats in favour of Mitchelland. Um, no yellow cards given somehow. I'm not sure if the ref was on their side or what, but there you go. Roman Lichka's got me man of the match, surely. Or Alan Kane. So that should have been given to Jay Mason, although he is joint top of Roman Lichka. But Jay Mason, I don't know where his player face has gone. Where's Jay Mason's player face gone? No idea, but anyway, two assists for our homegrown talent. 7.6 rate for him. Roman Lischka, very good display in between the sticks. Six shots on his goal, five saves. He only let one in, which to be fair, should have even gone in because he made the save beforehand. Who with a goal and a 7.5. Rafael Alexandre, solid CDM display once again from him with a 7 rating. Alan Kane coming on to get the winning goal. Uh, 6.9 from him. And I don't know who. Oh no, we already read the assist, didn't we? Man, the match overall, though, apparently Bramado's taking it over any of our players. A goal for him and a 7.9. And it doesn't look like we've got any assists. Wow, their players aren't as good as I thought they were. If that's what you have to be to be a top day, we could win the Danish League. Move on, Charleroi. Charleroi, I believe, are Belgium. And Pacos Ferreira, I believe, are Portugal. Doesn't really help me decipher where this tournament's taking place, but... Thinking out loud, really. Are we going to have any transfer, like, offers? We won't be making any moves until we get our scout reports back, but will we get any for our players? Message here from the assistant manager. It's a pre-season attempt to experiment with lineups and formations. Oh shit, yeah, you can make seven subs. I forgot about that. Alright, well. Maybe try and use a few more substitutions next time. I forget. I've just got it so ingrained in my memory that you can only use three. A couple of career modes we've got going on now. The experiment one, obviously, there. And I did a, I did start a player career mode as well. I actually played that yesterday for a little bit. I know I said I haven't played in a week, but I did actually play that yesterday. I only did, like, two games with it, though. So, um... Next up, we've got, who have we got? Charleroi, the other team that won in our group. Um, what are the big deals so far? Thiago's gone to Inter Milan. Diego Carlos has gone to Borussia Dortmund. And Akanji's gone from Spurs to Juventus. I'm surprised about Thiago. Another five at the back. Let's fucking go. Let's rotate it up a little bit this time. This is going to be a stupid idea, but we're bringing Dordovic in. Uh, Vuksic will come in for... Um, who's more tired? DeAngelis is slightly more tired, so you can go off. Kovacic won't be playing because we're going to use Luka Bailey instead. Where are you? Where are you, little Englishman? Um, we're also actually going to change the formation. Milosevic is going to get a run out, and so is Marin on this left side, Milosevic on that right side. Um, Volchenkov, do I give Welsh a run out? No, I don't think I do. Too many bloody strikers is what we've got to you, mate. So you'll get, I'll tell you who will get a run out again. I'll bring in Vidovic. We'll test Tabak here. I don't know if it'll go well. He's not happy. Whatever. Wait, why isn't... Oh, because I changed the formation. I 
Dalton Wilkins should be back soon, but he won't be playing again. And I told, I'd said this in the last season, he won't play again in Colour with Colours. Yart save. Must give Meshkov a start ahead of Tabak, sorry. Never mind, I'm not, because he's not even a... Okay. Do we actually have any out-and-out -out CDMs besides uh, Alexandre? What's Tabak's defensive stats, actually? This might not be a good idea. Oh, yeah, that's not a good idea. Just, just try to look at defensive stats here. Does it do suggested substitutions? Yeah. So exactly. Uh, do we give Lee's a run out just for the fuck of it? Fuck it. Go on then. You're probably going soon. Have your last, last hurrah. I think that's it. Who do I captain here? Oh, it's yeah, Callum Lee's. I know he's on the transfer list, but he's still in the hierarchy. He's still the captain at the moment. And he's actually, he's not even the second captain, he's the main captain currently. Because Philly Lucas is retired. So until Lees goes, he's the current highest captain. Once Callum Lees hopefully does get an offer for him coming in, um, it will be Jay Mason who will take the captaincy. We'll have to go for a new hierarchy in terms of the captaincy once uh, we sort this out. I think it'll probably be Mason followed by Gomez, but we'll see. So at Stadion Nedair, 5-3-2, Charleroi Royal playing. We're playing the 4-1-2-1-2 wide. Uh, this is probably going to be a disaster. Weakest back four in a while, besides Gomez. Uh, Dorovic in goal, which means we're probably going to see four in the first half. So with Dorovic in goal, Yart 7 Bailey as the full-backs, Vukic and Gomez as the centre-backs, Lees as the CDM, Marin and Milosevic as the wide midfielders, Vidovic as the cam, and Alan Kane and Vyacheslav Volchenkov up front. I'm just going to make sure the bench um, is okay because I want to give a lot of players some chance here. Um, I want to give Meshkov another run up. I don't know where I put him. I'll probably put him on the right to be honest. Um, I can't really... I've got to have Brown. I'm sorry. I, I, I do like Brown more than Meshkov. We've got too many good talents, man. I think eventually I will just settle with the four one two one two narrow again, but we'll just I wanna try something a little different. But anyway, let's get into it before I waste any more bloody time. Vidovic needs to kinda of prove himself. At the end of the last season he had to be the cam and he wasn't wonderful. Mason obviously put out an injury and Vidovic why can't, why can't he shoot it in the net? I'm in for the fucking net. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Bruv, <laughs> Vidovic is scaring me. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we have more live action from the pre-season second group stage how do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, Derek, both teams will want to get to the knockout stage. So we'll be looking for three points here today. And it may be pre-season, but there's still silverware on offer. And that will give them confidence going forward into the new game. I'm going to be honest, I didn't realise we started. I was waiting for the game to load up. Bro, we nearly conceded because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I thought it was doing the whole opening thing, but I forget pre-season, it doesn't do it. I nearly went one down because I wasn't <laughs> looking. Right. Let's get our brains back on to look at the screen and actually play the fucking football simulator. Dordovic, you could either have a brilliant game here and stay or be shit and get put on the transfer list. Luca Bailey. Making that Nikolai Allo run even though it's not Nikolai Allo. Vidovic getting fouled there, I would say, but the ref hasn't agreed. Well, he got oh, big opportunity. And the That's not the greatest of shots, line. to be honest. He still forced to save out the goalkeeper, but it wasn't brilliant. Didn't have enough behind it.
I think it was going to go wide anyway, probably, but... It is what it is. Milosevic on the corner. Is he even going to get to Gomez's head? Delivering it. No trouble at I mean, it would have done had Hervey, Kofi not got in the way. Um, why is Milosevic on the floor? <laughs> and also not in his position. <laughs> Yeah, so it's gonna get there. Oh, oh, oh! Into fuck off, bro. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Marin gets in the way. Vidovic. Marin. I think Kane wanted to make that run, but couldn't. Vidovic through to Volchenkov. I don't know what this fight at the back is doing. And I don't know why I shot from there. Honestly, I should have got a lot closer and just banged it in. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Testing the keeper though. In our corner. For Milosevic to whack in. Hopefully to go miss a little bit better. Okay. This goalkeeper's getting my nuts, mate. I don't know why Gomez is still forward either, but we'll address that when we concede. Everyone's just out of position still from the corner, I believe. Vidovic. Oh, he's done really well there. Ah, really oh, I went to take in. it on myself with him because he'd done so well, but it was the last man that got me. I need more skill young. moves, man. Kayembe. Luca Bailey was a stupid lunge and now it's kind of fucked us a little bit. Kayambi, all the space in the world to deliver. Luckily, Yart said has got enough on it. Well, that's the end of that for now. Being pressed hard. We'll take the throw in. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. That's surprising, not been a goal in this game yet, to be honest. Their early chance off the post. Volchenkov's two chances has forced good saves out of the goalkeeper, to be fair. Kane. And tried oh, to get it over, but away. blocked. Olchenko was gagging for it to make a run onto it, but it didn't happen. Callum Lees, nice little interception. Oh, it's referee, that's got to be yellow. Stupid tackle the there from Ryota Morioka. No way, it can't be a yellow, that one. He's not even aimed for the ball. Lees has touched it away, and he's just been straight up mowed down. Free kick in a somewhat decent position. I'm gonna play it down to the Angeles. Gomez. I'm gonna play it down to Gomez. Callum Lee's. Oh, it's not heavy. That's, I mean, it's not a touch I wanted. It's gone too heavy. Kayembe. I've not really been able to use Milosevic. This is why I kind of don't use wingers anyway because I don't really bring them into the play too much. A strong tackle. Alan, oh fuck! I didn't fucking run there, bruv. Morioka. Shamar Nicholson. Where is That's Luca Bailey going? Not on a real note. Where, is, like Kiembe or Kapembe? I don't well, remember his name. Like, it's Kiembe. The left that mid is. for Charleroi has just been given all the room in the world to play that into a striker. And how has there not been a goal there for Charleroi, to be honest? That, he's missed a sitter. We should be 1-0, maybe 2-0 down, potentially. Luca Bailey's just given too much room for that. The art save has definitely been the better left-back so far. Or a better full-back. Vidovic. Trying to make some room away from Morioka. And that pass could be Alan Kane. No, it's Volchenkov, sorry. And a goal. No. Has that gone in? Oh my god! <laughs> Take it! 
I didn't expect that to go in. I mean, I shot it because I wanted it to go in at near post, which is what it has well, done. The replay, and but I expected the save from the, the keeper. keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. And I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how the Charleroi keeper's been beaten there. To be honest with you. Oh, that's just that's just bad goalkeeping. I think he might have hit his head off the goalpost as well when trying to go for it. Volchenkov so puts us one nil up, and we actually from it. I, for me saying that we might not do well in this group, I think we actually could win this pre-season tournament. I know it's not a big trophy, but it's a trophy. <laughs> Bedia. Bedia. Oh, okay. One of their players is still on the ground. I think he's up again now. Lee's is also on the ground now, potentially injured. So we should probably get a sail on him if he's injured. And I must have missed the part where offsides don't exist anymore. That's on me. It was always going to happen for them to get an equaliser because Dordrich is in our net. But also, Let's see this again, because the they're just a, the a very good team. He must just be in line. I swear he was a just a step goal. ahead of his man there. Ahead of his teammate. It's a great finish. By no, like, by no means am I having to go with the finish. It's a wonderful finish. There's nothing Dordovic can do. I just thought he was a step off, but I guess that was me. Oh, hello. Callum Lees is injured. Fully injured. So Alexandria is going to have to come back on soon. They probably would have liked, unless. What? Well, theoretically. Could I put Brown here? No, he's got 30, he's got 34 defending. Theoretically, I'm not doing that. Right. Okay. That's a bit annoying. Because I want to sell Callum Lee's on, which means we probably won't now. And they're making a change. And because he's not going off the pitch himself, it's something serious. Rafael Alexandre being put back on the pitch sooner than you would have expected, I think. So back under we'll blame, our, we'll blame their goal on the there. fact that Lees was injured and they didn't stop playing. A disrespectful goal there by Charleroi. First goal of the preseason tournament for Nicholson. They're just holding it off, bro. I can't do anything about that. Chance to play it in. Brilliant by Marius Marin. I think it's going to be their throw, though. Where are you going, Marin? Go to fucking man, bruv. And making the run to the inside. And a goal! What the shit? What the shit just happened? I'm trying to move the guy to Marin. And I block it. Oh, it's gone through fucking... Oh, I've not blocked it at all. It's gone through fucking Vuksic's legs. And then I wanted to be Gomez here, but it switched me back to Vuksic. <laughs> And then, of course, Dordovic being Dordovic has let the, the... He's a captain now because Lee's got injured. I just saw that. Well, here it is again. I can't change that. But he's just let it in at his near post because he's Dordovic. So. In all reality, I don't know why it just goes through my defender's legs sometimes. It just feels like, eh, I'm not going to block it. We'll just let it go through the legs. Chris Bedia. Gets his second goal of the preseason tournament and um, puts Trollero 2 1 up. And all the euphoria I had earlier about us potentially winning the cup is well, now gone. Two, one it is here. Bloody Vuksic, man. Oh, go away with your shit tackles. I should bring Milosevic into the play a little Moving bit. Forward. He could pick out a teammate. Don't have any options, but we have found Vidovic. I just try to shoot it around him, but he had me red like a book. Gomez has this, surely. Nice one. Commanding leader at the back. That's why you'd be the second captain if it was to come about. But I don't even know if it is to come about now because Lee's is injured, so he probably won't even go. That's going to stay on as well, isn't it? Fuck me sideways. Tell me you try to give them a win without telling me you try to give them a win. Right. 
have to clear it in Milosevic as well. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very good. I pressed to clear it with Milosevic and they just decided that ah, we'll get the player in the way and then we'll just play it around you like Brian Barcelona and the goal. Well, Charleroi have really woken up and uh, decided to just destroy us. And I mean, Dordovic, don't get me wrong, he's one of the most talentless goalkeepers I've seen in my life. But for most of these goals, he's not been able to do anything about them. That one he maybe could have stretched out a little bit more, but it was in a good position in the goal there and he couldn't do much more about it. But the only one I could really have an argument with is the second goal is near post. The first one was a banger. That one was out of his reach regardless. Zorgani or Zorgain gets a third before half time and we're in the mud a little bit to be honest with you. And I can't even blame it on Dordovic. He's not been good. But the well, goals that they've scored, he can't save either. Him. He's really dominating an attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Nicholson Great movement, being a problem. And a very good finish for his, goal. his goal was he's mad. Excellent. Realistically, the defender could be better off that one, but um, the shot itself was mad. So 3-1 down at halftime. Mitchell and Joy with Pacos Ferreira. I don't even know if I'd rather go through or not, to be honest. I'd like to go through just for the extra money, but also not because it means less gameplay for me to do in this episode, in a shorter episode. So I don't know. 51 to 49 in terms of possession in favour of Charleroi. Six shots to four um, in favour of Charleroi as well. And they've also got the expected goals over us. 3.4 to their 1 point, or to our 1.1. So there's no way I can change the captain. So, Dordovic is going to be the... Okay, whatever. I should have thought about some defensive and attacking like strategies for this new formation as well. But I didn't. I'm probably just going to... I will probably just go back to the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. I'll get to be real with you guys. I've tried something different. I'm not a fan of it. If, it's not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Am I right? We beat Mitchelland with it. We're losing to fucking Charleroi with this one. But that's not fully because of the formation. It's partly because of the fucking players being idiots. That somehow got through well, to Dorovic. I thought my defender had that covered, but at least my keeper got it. Marin. Okay. I pressed A with Vuksic, so I don't know why I've still got the ball. Alan Kane. Make a bit of space for pass through, which nobody wants to be on the end of. Crossing possibilities. Yartsev, who beaten again. Far from the finished article, of course, is uh, Yartsev, which is why he's probably going to go out on loan. I haven't fully decided whether I'm going to send him out on loan or leave him at the club. But uh, probably a loan deal for him. We just opened up. I don't know why Nicholson hasn't taken that on himself, to be honest. We just opened up for them again. Man City might actually drop points to Arsenal. That'd be big. One all with four minutes left. So deciding to make a personnel change. Substitution. Zaruri coming on for Padilla. But one of the Charleroi goals. It was the third one he got. The second one, sorry. Near post one. Third post was uh, Zogani or something. I don't remember their names. Gomez to Alexandre. Milosevic. Hey, you putting on okay. worse players and make your team play worse. <laughs> fruitful looking attack. Oh, just fucking like it's not rocket science, my guy. Just play it through the gap. That's gonna go off the pitch, surely. You've got Options to be fucking kidding me. Well, okay, yeah, he's done awful there. I'll try to keep it on the pitch for the byline, though. And Luca Bailey can bring it away. Uh, the only way that that hasn't worked... I'm going to make some substitutions anyway. But the only way that that hasn't worked is that he's got a foot in there somehow. I think he actually has. Ugh, whatever. Substitution time. We need a, a big hitter up front. Which means Kane's going to have to make way for sure who... And I want to put Brown in, but I just don't know where. I guess we'll put him here. He actually really likes that. Maybe he, maybe he is a cam, to be honest, rather than a centre mid. But I do want to give him a lot of game time to grow. 
Well, can they open up the defense here? Really bright looking attack. Oh, oh silly me, I thought I tackled. Vuksic gets it away though. Even though I didn't make contact with the ball with Gomez, it's like I should make contact with the player that at least. Could be troublesome. Vidovic, one more. Volchenkov. Oh, it's a good save from Coffey again. Good play from us, but it's a brilliant stop once again from the Charleroi keeper. And these two, this team will probably beat us, to be honest with you. Can't really argue with it, because they've been good. So they have just dribbled off the pitch, which makes me wonder, are they actually that good? <laughs> Shuhu and Isaac Brown coming on. For Alan Kane and Vyacheslav, but it's not Vyacheslav at all. It's uh, Milan Vidovic. Marius Marin. We've got the full knight Brown. on his left hand side. He's not really been a factor, but I don't really like using mid wide midfielders anyway. Brown to Volchenkov. Shuhu. Touch hasn't done, really done him any favours, to, to be honest, position. but. Um, Difficult to get through. Can I please? It takes me three left bumper presses there to switch to Marin. Interesting. I don't know why it takes so long, but sure. Do you, game. Please do you. Oh, Gomez has been turned inside out. Yep, oh, this is four. Yeah, I just knew. Gomez got done in there. And because we've got the literal worst goalkeeper in the world in our goal. I just knew as soon as it got past Gomez there that we were conceded. <laughs> well, here's the I've accepted it at this point. A good finish, but the at his near post so I think Dorovic may be done at this club. That should be a save. He's not stretched out far enough. He's positioning his way off. Lishka's probably saving that if he's in that. Actually, with the goalkeepers in this game, maybe not. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them They will probably... I mean, they do deserve it. But, oh, fuck off, man. They're just on me like glue. Vucic gets a good tackle in. Isaac Brown. If I push forward for maybe a consolation or possibly a route back into this game, but I doubt it at this point. Especially where the passes just don't fucking do what they're meant to do. And breaking at pace, Brilliant, honestly. World class. Well, not to be in terms of well done, Luca Bailey. Rare time you're actually in your position. Brown. Brown into Volchenkov. Oh, just it, it. Here. Oh, big opportunity. A He's done very well there. I wanted to play it across to Volchenkov. Then the defender came across me quite fast. And the defender was on Volchenkov as well. So I had to do a little bit of a... Uh, What's the word? Improvisation. I was trying to find the well, word. The Bit of improvisation there with Shuhu. I have to remember we've got seven subs, not just three. Uh, yeah, not just three. Your fourth substitution I've just made there with Latanzio coming on from Marin on that left hand side. And the substitution will occur now. It's not going to matter, I don't think, to the result, but we'll, we'll try and push for a ridiculous draw. The current scoreline, 4-2. Disappointing pass. Great by Alexandre, as we usually expect from him, and he's just sent that man to a different dimension. Milosevic. Being pressured to fuck here. But um, really he's come up with the ball, to be fair to him. Well, possibilities in the centre. Oh, great defending. See, I wanted someone on the edge of the area to pass it to, and they were all just marked. So I can't do anything about that. And now, counter. somehow it's just gone straight to their striker. Good out. step across by Yartsev. And then just shit passing by the game itself. Is that where I want that ball to go? Oh, Luke Bailey's been done in. Here. Alexandre, good try and cover. Alright, and Gomez has got this. And Alexandre will get it ball. away. To them, obviously, because why would I pass it to my player, you know? Good save by Dordovic.
That's a brilliant bit of a display there. If only you'd been doing that for the whole bastard game. Would have been in dreamland. Well, the short corner routine. Out of the four goals, two of them he could have saved, two of them he couldn't. So it's kind of even. Morioka. Riotta Morioka with it. I don't know Morioka's even still on the pitch, to be honest with you, but... I mean, the thing on Leeds is only yellow, but I just want to set off because he's a knob. Alexandre with a bit of a, a bad tackle chance. there, but we've got away with it. Yartsev, Vuksic brings it away. And that's a foul, but Shuhu is going to get the ball and continue it on. To Latanzio. He's cutting all the way in. Try and play it for the centre. To Brown. That goes back to... He just it fucking pains me sometimes, he's passing. Systems. Oh, Luca Bailey, that's a brilliant tackle. Ah, oh, I can't get it through. Oh, fuck off. Well, that is how to play <laughs> she was going to get a needless yellow because I'm annoyed. Beautiful pass. What's the point of giving them a chance? The game's over, bruv. Blow the shitting whistle. Thank you. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as... I thought it was such a massive celebration for a pre-season well, group stage game, but... We are beaten by Charlotte Roy, 4-2. I'm honestly surprised it's not more. Bordovic only conceding four is quite a big man, result for him. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. They were definitely the better team, but for some reason the passes just decide to have a mind their own sometimes. It's just like whatever, you know. Fifty-one to forty-nine in terms of possession for us. We actually got the possession just over them. Not that it really matters too much when we're losing. Nine shots to their six, or they had nine shots to our six, I should say, and uh, 4.8 expected goals to 2.4, they doubly expected the goals, and they actually got double the goals, so accurate there. Man of the match, looks like it is Vyacheslav Volchenkov with an eight. He got a goal and an assist, and he was the only standout, according to this game. Everyone else did shit, is what the game is saying here. Uh, Milan Vidovic was quite poor, to be honest. Got an assist before he went off. And Shuhu wasn't on for long. And he got a goal and a yellow card because I just got angry at the end. Probably would have been a red had it mattered in any way. But because it didn't do anything to the game. It was a yellow. And, of course, Dordovic at the bottom. Gomez and Vuksic below sixes. Eek. Shots on target, seven, saves three and four goals conceded for Dordovic. Let's take a look at the reigns for Charleroi. Nicholson getting the man of the match and a nine rating for his team. A goal and two assists for the striker. We also had Zorgan who was playing very well. He got two goals from centre mid. And got Ujwan or Ubujan, who knows how it's pronounced really, with an assist and an eight. Bedia with a goal and a 7.7. .7. Kayembe. He was a problem, apparently, for Luca Bailey. He just decided, I'm um, letting pass every time. Assistant 7.2 of him. And then their goalkeeper, Hervé Coffey, was quite good, to be honest. I'll give him credit where credit's due. Five shots in his goal, three saves, two conceded. That is at for the second group game. Which means we've only got one to go. Man City have just scored a last minute winner against Arsenal. Are you, like, actually kidding me? But, um... Player injured. Oh, yeah, crap. Uh, how long? Oh, it's a long one. It's a most of the season one. Callum Lees has got an ACL injury. And he's gone for seven months. That means we won't be selling him. Pain, really. Let's take a look. Vuksic transfer offer. Ingolstadt have reached out to us that they are willing to offer Michael Heinlott and an additional fee of 15k for Mika Vuksic. What's Heinlott looking like? 
be a bit of experience in that fullback role. We already have that. Tell you what, we'll negotiate because I don't want the player. I'll, I'll take the money, but I don't want the player. Remove exchange player. Close transfer fee. If you have the money and you don't have the money, that's about it. But like, not my problem. Hashtag not my problem. They've actually offered a million for Vuksic. Or maybe we could have got a bit more. We might be seeing goodbye or saying goodbye to Mika Vuksic just out of nowhere randomly. Which means we'll probably have to get a new centre back in as backup, which probably have in the Youth Academy. A little gander quickly. Haynes, not quite there yet, but obviously continuing to work up to his level. A lot of this Youth Academy is kind of flushed out because I've promoted a load of cunts to the main squad. We've got Chenemir Susak, Mika Vuksic, Gomez DeAngelis, that's it. Hmm. Bit thin on the old centre backs, which means Haynes might have to come up if we need a backup. So we've got one more chance to try and get through here. We just need to not lose to uh, Pacos Ferreira. We also need. What else do we need? We need Mitchelland to beat or to not beat Charleroi even. So let's line it up. We're going back to the original four one two one two narrow because the wide was poo. Caballero's back. Oh, get that back. That's not the right fucking. Get him in. Let me put him... There we go. Touch him across. Um, we'll give Latanzio run up at striker. We're going to give Meshkov a start, actually, over Marin. And I think that is how we'll line up. Because we want to go all out for this one, really, don't we? Joking at my dog. She's barking at the next door neighbor's dog for whatever reason. If you can't hear my dog, then that is why she's bark. Well, I guess I'll have an explanation on top of that. Alan Kane could go back on the bench. He's been fucking really good this preseason. Marin to go on the bench as well. And I think that's it. So we've got Lishka in goal, Born and Allo as the fullbacks, DeAngelis and Gomez as the centre backs, Alexandre centre defensive mid, Caballero and Meshkov, the centre midfielders, Jay Mason at the cam spot, and then Shuhu and Laura Tanzio up front. They'll go for the 4 3 3 holding or Molten Road. Let's go. Oh, let's not go. What? The, what the, what's the problem? Oh, I just realised. For God's sake, man. Such a stupid glitch. You didn't fix this by now. But they haven't. So now I've got to fucking go make the team again. So it was the, it was the main back four. It was... Swap Marin and Vidovic. Oops. Caballero there. Vidovic there. Latanzio up top. And did we have someone else in there? Oh, Meshkov was starting, wasn't he? I think that's how we meant to go. Obviously, the armband will go around Mason's um, arm. But that was, I think that was a lineup. It's close enough anyway, even if it wasn't before. But anyway, Molten Road, let's get into it. Final group stage pre season game. So 
all kicking off on the football discord that I'm in. Got a lot of Arsenal fans in there. And they're very mad about the Mares penalty. I mean, I don't think it was Mares that got fouled, but Mares was the one who scored it. Oh, sorry. Apologies about my headset there. I was just moving. Silly me. I'm moving again, so sorry for headset fucks up. Alright, so the final group stage game. Pacos Ferreira. We need to not lose to these guys, and we also need Charleroi to defeat Michelin if we're going to advance. Don't get me wrong, I don't care either way. But we've got a strongest squad just to see. Oh, hello. How's that late when I went in on time and it's just delayed? Good block by De Angelis. Don't give me an early yellow for that. Helder tried to put it away. I don't know how good Pacos Ferreira actually are. Obviously, they're in the league and us, but I don't even know if there's a Portuguese second league, which it probably is, but they're not in the game. I don't really follow Portuguese football, truth be told. I thought Michelin was going to be the most difficult. So far, they've been... Well, I can't say so far they've been the easiest because Charleroi are very good and we haven't actually played Pacos Ferreira yet. Nikolai Alo trademark run on the counter. This might have potential. It's gone over Shuhu. Still here. Referee. If he's not got the ball there, it's a penalty. I was trying to pass it off before well, the goalkeeper got there. It's not his debut. Pass, oh, player to watch. I don't know where his player Stuart. face has gone. We'll That's fucking annoying today. as well. well for me, Derek, I think he's got a knock in there to give it away for a corner. But I don't know where bloody Jay Mason's player face has gone. I know he's a youth player. But everyone else has him. But Byron even has one of his real life thing. His face. Well, which when I say his thing. Corner kick played in. Bastos here. I just try to get something out of this. Born with a good challenge. An Arlo Bourne trademark run. Uh, a foul there will actually go back towards because it's going to be a yellow as well for the player. Idris Baba getting booked. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. 100% yellow card. Possibly even a red, to be honest. Ball's already gone. De Angelis to Caballero. I've missed this fast-paced boy in the midfield, I'll tell you that much. Well read to ease the pressure. I don't know how that pass doesn't come off. Jay Mason's a quality passer, and Bruno Caballero's fast. It won't let me switch off DeAngelis, so I guess I'm committing with DeAngelis, which is fine, actually. It's probably the better manoeuvre. I wanted to go boring, to be honest with you. Ah, we've, we've been baited. Steven Eustachio. Can he put them in front? Sorry. Well, like, he's, he's so stupid, man. Where are the tackles going? I'm right there putting tackle in. So, DeAngelis. Alright, it's tackling the man here. I, I don't... I don't actually know if I want to play this game. I'm I'm taking a screenshot of that. That is genuinely ridiculous. Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. I've let a goal in because the ball has gone through my foot. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. I'm fuck it, human. Give me a 
second, guys. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? All right, let's go. Loyal Tanzio. Mesh. Are you? And okay. Well uh, okay. Past Meshkov. I'm actually genuinely aggrieved. If we lose because the ball has gone through my foot when I'm trying to defend. Good block by DeAngelis again. They've been the better team, don't get me wrong, so far. It's just the fact that the ball is literally, or my foot is literally in the ball. Uh, it's happened twice on this episode already. It's fucking mad. We just need to avoid a loss here to go through. I don't really care about, like, not going through. It's out? just getting screwed Not over. I'd rather not go through if I'm being what honest with you. But, like, I'd like to lose in a fair way, because if it starts happening in the league or in the Cups, and that's going to be problematic, isn't it? So Vera puts it over. Let's go to the right player, please. Caballero is in more space than Mason, and you decided to pass it to Mason. Right, Caballero. Pace here, mate. Come on, use your pace. Latanzio! Oh, it's a good save. It's brilliant by Bruno Caballero, but. I pressed fucking A before it's gone out of fucking A. The way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. This stupid game, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's the delay on my brain or my controller or if it's the delay on the game itself. Man. It Played by DeAngelis again. And honestly, we shouldn't be 1-0 down because DeAngelis did good defence there. It's just the ball's gone through his foot. I've got no room to make passes and when I do make passes, they go wrong. So It was to, it was to Mason. It just wasn't to Mason, if that makes sense. Like I aimed it to him, but it just didn't get to him. Can they trouble the opposition this time? I, I do want to go Allo, yes. The Nielsen's offside anyway. I, he, he's not even offside though, that's the thing. <laughs> now they've been robbed, I feel a little better. Allo, to Gomez. This is the most broken fucking football simulator in the world. I, I just don't. Oh, fuck off, man. Danielson. Opportunity to deliver the cross. I don't know what Danielson's plan is here. I guess I'll get in the way of Allo, but it won't mean anything. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. Corner, thanks to Gomez. Bruv, I've just been on the back foot the whole time because I can't make a simple attacking pass. Trying to deliver it accurately. It's not a Wish we get that. Thank God. There. Mason. Tolatanzio. Off to Meshkov. We should keep it in, but with this game, I'm not 100%. There we go. Mason. And credit is due he just gets read like a book. He just, he's an 85 rated player and he just gets read like a fucking book. What am I to, know, what am I to do when the game knows before even I know what I'm doing? Right. Fucking Christ alone, bruv. It's going to be someone's on my team, thank God. Mason. Alexandre. They're so defensive, man. They're not even five at uh, the back, but they're so defensive. Otanzio. Could nick it in here. He's it. I've just turned out too far wide, and that's not anything that I've done because I've tried to make a 
nice little turn in there. Just take a shot on after that, but showing good vision. Not done it, obviously. De Angelis. Ref, it's not a foul. He's soft, bro. He's soft. And the story now confirms Spurs have gone. I mean, it probably was a foul. Ikone has gone to Leverkusen or from Leverkusen to Spurs. Seems to be a fair deal, but he'll certainly need to settle in quickly. There'll be a lot of pressure on him. In real life, now he's at Fiorentina. He's moving about everywhere. In real life, he's gone from Lille to Fiorentina, and in the game, he's gone from Leverkusen to Spurs. He just doesn't stop he transferring. He's got a thing for it. Really good. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. No way I can defend that. It's a brilliant free kick. I mean, I had a man on him, but... Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. It's just a really good play from Pacos. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. I'm not sure how my defender hasn't got the foot in first, but he hasn't. And we can see that again, which, honestly, I'm kind of okay with going out of the tournament at this point. Well, a second goal for them here. So three minutes of stoppage time. It'll Fucking be. gameplay. I don't really, I don't really know how much more gameplay I want to play. Fuck off, cunt. I didn't aim for sure who, because of course I didn't. He's marked. Why would I aim for someone who's got a physical man right there? Elder you're going to half time, you're going to let him have a third. Oh, I guess I've got my answer. Steven uh, bro, I'm whistle. getting so annoyed. It's not even because I'm losing the game. It's just certain shit that's well, happening. I can't get an attack here. I don't even have a shot yet. Mason's on a slow day at the office. You're telling me. He just hasn't looked himself. But I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? The whole team's had a slow day at the office, man. Bastos and Silvera. Pit Pacos 2 0 up. And it honestly could be more. Everything else is nil-nil. Which means Mitchell Lamb won't make it through either. Looking at stats, they deserve it fully. 53 to 47 in terms of possession. Six shots to two. And 2.5 expected goals, star 0 0.8. I've just realised their shot accuracy as well as 33%, which means all the shots on target they've had have gone in. It's big. Let's just try and get... Try and get some in here, boys. Come on. Good play in the second half. I know there's occasions where you can't control what you're doing because the game has a mind of its own, but let's just give it a go. Mason. Meshkov. Latanzio. Shuhu, try to get back over to Latanzio. Just to anyone then. Uh, Mason. Caballero. Caballero? Who the fuck's that? Min, you play up. Into the advanced position. I just decided to boot it and hope. It's been set to a stratosphere apparently for deflection, and Alexandria has just missed it. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, that's a super ball. Better to Arlo Bourne, please, about, uh, about three seconds sooner next time. A wonderful counter attacking football. Just unfortunate. We're almost 3 0. Well, They'll be lucky if we get a draw at this, to be honest. The speed in which they changed from defence to attack was brilliant. Lishka was in nowhere near any position to save that had it been on target. It would have been 3 0 had it been on target, but luckily. Wide. Their I don't understand it, bruv. Good technique displayed. Alexandra's been shit, and I don't even know if it's his fault. Arlo Bourne could cover. The Angelus. I just feel like Mason. passing's got worse. Really I really answer. feel like, oh, you fucking got the joke, you just left the gap open, man. Why do you feel like passing is the slowest thing in the world? And time for the change now. I didn't skip that, by the way. The game done it itself on the replay there, but I fucking, I get annoyed. Estequio. <laughs> And there's the the corner, Diaby coming off of Bastos. Yeah, because I want to roll it to Gomez, Mason who's got my right arm. I wasn't trying to, to throw it over to fucking Mason or anything. Jesus Christ. They need to get bodies back. Well, not to be in terms of the camera. Fuck attack. off! Why is Latanzio running in between two no. men when he could go the other side and actually receive a better pass yeah. there? I've done it. The pass was bad. And but he's he so fucking well, stupid. Look how much you're fucking pressing me, man! I can't get any space to do anything! 
physically strong and secure on the oh surely Oh, just, I, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting fucking scammed somewhere along the line. I think it's time for the boy. I think we need him. I think we need the man, the myth, the legend on the pitch. He'll get some goals. I didn't put him on the bench. I don't have Brown on the bench either. Oh, fuck's sake. No. Man can come on. I wanted to have Alan Kane to come on and get us a hat trick to win it, but he's on the bench for whatever reason. Duke coming on for Ferreira as well. It's quite interesting because he's played for Pacos Ferreira. It's probably the guy's son. Played over. Off the line by Ola Bourne. Brilliant nice defence from him. If he wasn't 32, I'd keep him on fully. But the matter is, he is, so can't. Well, a good tackle. Latanzio has a turning circle of a boat. The and I... What the... F <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, wait, did tackles get taken out of the game? Did I miss that? Did I miss that update? Never just taken the shot on there. Managed to just get all the way through. Somehow. Lishka has been better this second half. But we need to be scoring up the other end if we want to stay in this tournament. Which, again, I'm not fussed either way. I'm still, uh, it's still annoying their first goal they scored went through bloody fucking cunt, uh, DeAndres' foot. He's got so many cunts back. There's no way Laurel Tangel's winning the header. I can't make any fucking space for a shot. And then just playing it around like Prime yeah, Barcelona again. This is oh, brother, I'm having so much fun. I don't know if you can tell, I'm having a lot of fun. Danielson. Promising possession, Mace. That's by Gomez, and uh, I didn't play it there. Um, it's gone off Allo. It's a goal kick anyway. I'm just I'm vexed at some of these situations. It's what? I was at a corner. It's come off. I swear it's come off there. Oh, just. It's fine. This is a pre-season. If this was a league and I'm getting all this shit happening against me, I'd be, I'd be fuming. The ball going... Or my foot going through the ball. Who can he pick out? I beat. Oh, I'm stressed. Oh, I'm fucking stressed. That's gone over. No I don't know how it's even got to that situation. It's gone over. Bring on Volchenko. I don't know if it'll make a difference. Bring him on anyway. Oh, right. 17 minutes to try and rescue Summon to get through to the next round, which I know we won't do because we can't like, get anything. Caballero. They just they, what the fuck is the point, man? Don't jump over it if it's meant for you. It, those passes were both meant for Mason and they've gone between the strikers. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Game fucking sucks, man. Oh foul play, says the referee. Oh, he's not going to get a card. He's not going to get a card. I, but I, I don't. I just. <sighs> fine. You know what? Fine. I don't. I, it's preseason. I'm not having this like. I'll just to say, if it was an actual bench. cup or a league or anything like that, I'd be very annoyed. But because it's just a preseason tournament, I need to calm down. <laughs> but it's just some of the situations really like are just they don't make any sense. Who? Playing with purpose and control. Can he get one back? He can! I don't know why Volchenkov's taken out that far wide, but he's done well enough to get the goal and possibly a chance for us 
to rescue something. I went quiet because I was about to yell at Volchenko for taking it to the outside the corn flag nearly. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet. It's good play. It's a great I, I didn't realize shot. that what touch was not what I wanted. I wanted a less heavy touch than that. But uh, it's got us a goal back. I don't know if it'll get us anything in terms of the result, but goal back at least. So Volchenkov gets one back. We've got 10 minutes. Lane. If we get a point, I think we go through. Unless Mitchell Land win. Just 10 minutes to go. How to play it goes. After Nielsen, it I believe. Be Not long well, left. Can we find an equaliser? Can we dig something and out and stay in this tournament? Vigario change. coming on for. I didn't see the other person's name. Valente, the one making way. Alexandre. Volchenkov. They are making headway. Shoo -hoo. Really they need a goal with time Jay Mason. On their side. So look how Caballero. fucking pressing they are, bruv. Caballero. Can he put it in? It's still alive. I just took it on and hoped. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the right idea. I'm not controlling anyone apparently. I'm still not to controlling my players there. And that's not gonna stay in, is it? it yeah, that's actually good what was the plan there? Did he, did he just try to waste time? Dude, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you first hand now. There was no blunder by the keeper. I have aimed that for Allo. And the game has decided to fucking screw me again. <laughs> like, there was no blunder from me. I didn't make the mistake. I aimed for Allo. <laughs> With the throw. They've had eight corners, bruv. Now the delivery. Marin. Win that out. Yep. That'll, oh. Well, the Fucking turn quicker, quickly. mate. Well, far too much Duke's put it over. There. We've still got some time here. This game has been a fucking... I think it's just a literal joke. Their first goal, my guy had the foot through the ball. I mean, the most recent example was, of course, there. I've tried to throw it to Allo. It's gone to Gomez because he's got a man right on him inside. I'll just give him a chance. All right, come on, lads. Oh, you fucking didn't ride it. All right, don't run the right way, will you, Volchenkov? My left stick is in a completely different direction to where you've run, but... Three out Lishka. Play... No! I'm play... He's just fucking blatant at this point. Who? Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. What Marius Marin. Oh, my God. I could have you. I could have your babies. I could have your babies. It's not a, a massive goal in terms of any actual importance to anything. But we've actually just finessed our way through to the next round. And by God, do we deserve it. What a stupid game. If Mitchelland have somehow beaten us and overtaken us on goal difference, that's fine. But I think on the same points, it comes down to head-to-head -head record in pre-seasons, and we beat them, so. Fucking hell, I thought for a second Marin wasn't scoring that. We've snagged the draw from the jaws of defeat. I've never felt more scripting go against me in a game. Well, it's not for a while, anyway. And goal's very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game. I think we're through, but I can't be 100% on it. Bro, that was a pain in the arse game. Marius Marin may have just snatched us qualification to the next preseason round. He's actually had some money shot right there. played a big part in that. He just kept plugging away, and in the end, he got his reward with the equaliser. Bastos and Silvera got a two first half goals with Pakos, and they held on till the 80th minute where Volchenkov finished off, and then Marius Marin, last minute equaliser. Bro, what a stupid game this is. <laughs> Lishka very well in our goal as well, actually. He done brilliant. First half was awful, but second half he was very good. Credit to him. 54 or 56 to 44 possession for us. 15 shots to 7 for them and 6.9 expected goals to 2.3. They deserved it 100%. But some of the fucking plays in that game really just grinded my gears. I don't know if you could tell.
Man of the match was Roman Leshka, absolutely. First half he was awful, second half he was perfect. Two goals conceded from seven shots on target, five saves. Shuhu with two assists and a 7.1. Marius Marin with the equaliser and a 7 rating. And then Volchenko with a 6.8 and the goal that, well, half the deficit at that point. And that's for Pacos. The man of the match with them was Samuel Silvera with a goal and a 7.3. Yustak Creel from CDM got a assist with a 7.3 rating as well. Bastos, the left centre mid. A goal and a 7.2 and then Elder Ferreira with a assist and a 7. Now I just want to take a look at some of their ratings and see how good they actually are. They've got a 79 rated. To be fair, we've got an 85, so. We should probably be beating these guys without much of a problem. They've got some youth players in that aren't great, to be honest. Alright, fucking hell. I think we just finessed our way through. Mitchell Land lost anyway, so we are through. More gameplay. I'm kind of happy because it means possibly more money, but I'm kind of sad because it means more gameplay. 688k added to the transfer budget. We play a Viking next, and before we go any further, Dexter Hurst. Who is Dexter Hurst? Oh, he was one of the left backs. Okay, so take a look at Dexter Hurst here. It's improved. Um, defending stats are pretty decent. Oh, having lag spikes. Sorry, didn't realise that. He's actually quite good. Obviously, we're going to wait for the rest of the scout reports to come back in, but he's quite good. I'll give him credit. And Derry City have expressed interest in signing Alan Gallagher. Absolutely, just take him. Get him gone. I also forgot about Vuksic. He might still go. means it'll be probably a promotion for Haynes. Final scout report for Jonathan Manning as well. Right back, 70 um, overall. What's he looking like? He's not too fast either. Defensive stats are quite good as well. I'm looking for their stats like I didn't look at them when I was scouting them in the first place. But it's more of a close profile, I guess. Uh, Vuksic is gone. He was a good backup, but he was never going to break in. I don't know how we've only got 700k from that, the greedy fucking board. Which means potentially a centre-back signing required. Although in the Youth Academy, we do have um, Alex Haynes, who I'm probably just going to bring up, to be honest. We need that cover just in case. So up next we've got Viking, and I think I just saved, unless I'm mistaken. I didn't. If we get knocked out here, at least we made it through to tell the story. Now we're going to obviously switch the line up a little bit. Some players tired, some players needing rest, of course, and some players just... I want to give more of a chance to. But we are going to stick with this formation because it works. And I'm sorry if I, it's boring, but... I'm not too sorry. Tabak's not had a chance yet, so put him in there. Um, how's Caballero looking for stamina? I should go straight past him. He's there, but he's. I'll keep him on the bench. Um, Brown can have another run out, I think. If I can find his fucking. There's too many bloody players, man. Can we get some sales going? Alan Kane up top with Shuhu. Vidovic will come into the cam roll. And I think that's all we'll do. And we'll actually, I think, give Gomez his first game of captaincy as well. Wait, can Coventry play both? No. Was it Bailey that could play both? Also, no. Which one can play both? It was Gerbisic. Fuck's sake. Of course, the worst one could be both. Do I? Do I give Dalton Wilkins a right? You won't fuck it. He's going to get one more chance to prove himself. He's not going to stay around, obviously, because he's 58 rated at 24 years of age. But he's going to get one more run out. <laughs> I 
Four three three holding for Viking. Four one two one two narrow for us. It won't change now. I'm sticking with that formation for the foreseeable. I'm sorry, but I just like it too much. Lishka in goal. Wilkins somehow getting an appearance again uh, alongside Bailey in the fullback roles. Gomez and DeAngelis the centre back. So Gomez getting his first taste of captaincy. Alexandri CDM. Brown and Tabak the centre mids. Vidovic the cam, and then Shuhu and Alan Kane up top. Um. So they've got actually quite a good team. I recognise a couple of other players, to be honest with you. Especially Barisha up front. Unless it's a different Barisha. Got to keep an eye on the Bradford City game in real life. They're playing Barrow today. I know Shu who's actually faster now than Laurel Tanzu. I'm aware I've missed the circles. Um, but I just... I feel like Laurel Tanzio still got that pace advantage. I don't know why. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect. Norwegian team Viking and FK take it on an English team Hollingworth FC. Let's get into it. For you, action from the European International Cup semi-final. Stuart, what are your expectations? The only for reason today? we're here is thanks well, to Marius to Marin board, and um, Good for Shuhu as well, providing the assist for to goals. Tabak into Kane. I haven't really given. I, I thought I would give Tabak more time on the pitch, really, but with Meshkov and Brown both coming up, that's an awful foul. Ball, no, we're, we're having that. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, With Meshkov and Brown so coming up, Brown obviously turning 16 now, Meshkov looks very good too. Um, Tabak may have to be the one that goes out on loan. Which I don't think he'll mind too much. It gives him game time at the end of the day. Where has the sunlight gone? I won't be shooting this by any means. I might deliver it or I might just play it off. To be honest with you. I'm just going to play it off. And going short with it. Alexandre. Gomez. Wasn't really who I wanted in this situation. And he's just run the wrong way anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Alexandre. That's late. It's probably going to be a yellow. Really nice ball. Wilkins. What an, un like an unsuccessful story he's had at the club. Last season he was the starting left back, got injured with an ACL injury, and he's just fallen off ever since. And he's probably going to be shifted out. Alexandre Tshuhu. Okay, Alan Kane just taking an awful touch. Barisha, the player to watch. You can't really doubt it. He's the only one I knew out of their team. Off the rip, so. Gomez is six foot six. He wins the header. If they drop off, he'll turn and run at them. Rafa Alexandre here. Into Isaac Brown. Kane. Alan Kane, I need someone to run to my right, really. We're getting that run eventually. From Goran Tabak. Plays it to Shu Hu. Lovely, lovely play. Tabak with the brain to make that run. And Shu Hu, just because he's a good goal scorer, will finish that off. If we can't get Shola in the finals, by the way, we thought. <laughs> Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. It's a brilliant finish. He's never going to miss that. He is Shu Hu. He is the striker to lead us to the Champions League. Depending on his growth, obviously. I think between him and the Italian striker I was considering signing, I think I went the right option. It took him a while to settle in, but boy, has he been a goal machine since he settled in. 29 league goals last season. I think most of them came in the second half of the season as well. Oh, Tanzio has done very well for his club as well. It's a bit of a collision there, 50-50, but it's gone the way of Viking. We've got good attack here. It's just Volchenkov is very good as well. And it's hard to just have two strikers when they've got three playing brilliantly. I think Volchenkov can also slot into that cam role, so if I need to give him game time at any point, and, he whips it and I don't fancy Mason or Vidovic, I can whack Volchenkov there. He's not great at it, I don't think, but he can play it. Good interception by Fred Johnson. Well, 
I do want to switch to Wilkins at fifth. How's that? How's that gone in? I actually, I'm actually not sure. I'm confused. I thought I put Wilkins in the way, well, again, and next thing I see, finish, it's in the goal. The has to do at his near post. He was I have to have a look at this. On that oh. <laughs> There's no way that that shouldn't be like Lishka, man. Come on, if you're gonna be my number one goalkeeper, you have to be saving those. It's right at you, more or less. You've dove past it somehow. Back underway. Wilkins Peggy. feels like One fucking shit to play with, by game. the way. He's so slow, man. I mean, he was never the fastest, but he's really fallen off. Bell has got an equaliser for Viking in the. I mean, it's a it's a good idea because obviously it's gone in, but I don't know how Lishka's not saved that. That's just poor goalkeeping. I didn't get Wilkins across the time either, which doesn't help, but Lishka's done awfully there. How's that happened then? From nothing. Someone explain it to me. I've not even moved my left stick to do that touch. Well, Obviously I haven't, because why would I? Possession. I was just trying to make space for a pass somewhere and it's just it's sent it to, to bloody the next dimension. Is it me or has the gameplay got way worse in this game, man? Offside, not that anyone knew. In the past week. Like since I last played it. It just feels like the gameplay is a lot shitter. Oh, it was offside. Fuck's sake. It was a really good save from Lishka, to be fair. But I don't know if it was offside or not. Bradford have gone 1-0 up. Over Barrow. Real life. Gomez to Alexandre. I don't know what happened with Alan Kane's touch. I just, I don't even know how to explain it. Brown to Shuhu. I think this probably will be a same day upload, as in I'm recording it on New Year's Day and it'll be uploaded on New Year's Day. It's a long ball towards Tripich Bailey. Is, I mean, he has headed it. I didn't header it that direction personally, but it, it's cleared up. I did header it away from our net, but you wouldn't know it. Apparently. A very good tackle. First touch didn't really give me much there. And the ball this is a good in. difficulty, but at the same time, if I'm getting robbed by the game itself, I'm not just trying to down again. It's world class, but the sliders are way up and are a little bit, quite a bit up in their favour. That is how to apply the pressure. So, whoever's there, I think that's Brown. Have you ever thought about making a run there just so Wilkins can play it through to you, lad? Or are you just not, not for that? I can't... That is something I can't do anything about. I've put Bailey across really well there to intercept that. And it's just bounced off my foot to them. And Roman Lishka is fucking amazing on that occasion. But what the actual fuck? How am I meant to defend? Trip H. On the corner. Let's see about the delivery. Can we defend this? We can. Alan came with the defence, possibly the a counter attack here. Not the fastest player to be counter attacking with, but <laughs> I mean, can't do much more right now. Oh, just, just please, please, just go the the side where I've actually wanted that to go, not in the middle where the defenders are. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Well, this has been done then. Brilliant by DeAngelis. Be another corner, I think, for Viking. See if we can see in a lot of corners right now. Pain in the arse, what can you do? Right, come on. Gets away in counter. Well, I mean, not done either thing yet. I'm sure who does end up getting the ball away. He's got the pace to counter, but I'm not going to get closed down if we go that way. So Isaac Brown 
into Vidovic. Alan Kane. Oh, it's a brilliant tackle. Extends this. Just as I was about to deliver it over the top. Chance to cross. Wilkins is fucking awful. Wilkins is dog bollocks. Yeah, no, he needs to go. Okay, I don't know how I've lost. Don't know how I've lost the ball there. To be honest with you. Wilkins has done really well. May have been called for penalty, but we're not going to talk about it. I think he's just distracted them long enough for us to get the ball back. Alan Kane has not decided to do what I've tried to do there with my stick, as in bring it away from the player. Atinama, interesting name. Wilkins wins his header, right? He does. To Tabak. He's pushing forward. Who? Oh, you fucking... This first touch... I don't know if it's just me or if it's just That's first touches in general, but they're fucking shite. De Angelis heads it away. It's going to be half-time. But these these first touches are just a load of shit, boss. I don't get it. I don't bloody understand, man. Like... <laughs> First touches just aren't a thing. I don't know how I can fix it unless it's just the game this year. We took a lead through Shu Hu, but Bell got the equaliser, and it was a very dumb equaliser as well because it should have been saved. Go on, Zolta. Zolta War again, I think their name are. But um, they could beat Charleroi, and if we go through, that'd be sick. We have one shot and scored it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 59 to 41 in terms of possession, four shots to R1 and 1.3 to R0.7 in terms of expected goals. Can we get a second half win? I don't know. We don't deserve it, but it's still possible. Passing in the first touch is really letting me down right now, but as well as the player switch, I pressed LB three times to get to Vidovic there, and the ball's already gone past him at that point. I actually can't believe this. Lishka's come up with his goal. The, the guy's just been allowed to run through because player switching is a myth. It's like, fuck, Lishka saved that because if he'd let that in, oh, yelling would have happened. Alexandre. Who? Shuhu. Into Alan Kane. Vidovic. Done very well there. Oh, it's more or less at a word, though. You don't know unless you try. Maybe I should have gone a little closer, but. Worth a shot in it. Here we go, it's on the tripod's head. Brown on the corner. So the corner it was for Gomez, box. but it's curled all the way up to Vidovic somehow. Okay, back into Vidovic. Really good very good tackle, very good read from the defender. I need to make sure they don't counter here. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as Luca Bailey's done very well to close that down. And he's been absolutely sliced through. Griezmann's gone to Liverpool. Well, this could be his last big payday. I just hope he still has the hunger and desire. Be a yellow card for the player who did that. Once play stops. Gomez, good cover again. And then Bailey just fucking loses it. Space and time for the cross. Gomez gets the tackle. We're going to go back to the yellow card, I think. Here, oh, we're not. So Bailey got sliced through. And there's going to be no booking for it. Got it. Another corner for Viking. Tripic to deliver. Who's going to get on the end of it? And off the front I mean, who the isn't going to get on the end of it? Because their guy got on the end of it and hit the crossbar. Barisha. So well. I know they were asking who's going to get on the end of it. Isn't like who W H O, but I made a little jokey there. I thought it was going to dip in for a second, but it hit off the crossbar. I didn't quite show the crossbar hit there on the replay, but. It was a crossbar hit from Barisha. Could have easily got a goal. Alan Kane who? into Shuhu. Hit the this run. I don't know who it is. Isaac Brown. That's Can't get the shot off in time. The outcome is a goal kick here. Uh, I thought they'd hit it last. But it is a goal kick. Just a bit of delay there from Brown to take the shot. Oh, 
So one apiece. Substitution. Cabran and Tangan coming off for Delanley and Free Johnson. Free Johnson. Free Johnson, I think it is. But we'll like uh, we'll leave it up to the judges who don't have a clue either. Um, I'm gonna bring on Latanzio for a bit of pace for Shuhu. Because if we are gonna get to the final, we need Shuhu for it. Well, they've decided to make a so we're also going to make a Yeah, sorry, bad timing there. We should have probably done ours at the same time. <laughs> Maybe do a couple more subs, but I don't know. We'll see how things proceed. I'm not sure if I still have Caballero on the bench. I think I do. I didn't really check. Should have probably checked that. Just for pace reasons. Might go ahead. Oh, brother, I knew exactly where they're going to play it as well. I still can do anything about it. Bolton really Wilkins is rubbish. This really will be his last appearance in a Colin with FC uh, jersey. Just for the record, by the way, it is the game that's lagging, and it's not me. I mean, it technically is me because I'm streaming the game, but like, that's actual the physical video game. But rather than like internet reasons. Oh, it was a terrible looking a foul there. And a big for it's the a red card away. for Christopher Lockburn. I'm not sure about that one. And if they're not careful, it oh, he's two footed him. Never mind. Well. Yeah, no, I, I'm sure about that one now. Look at the replay. Tabak's drawn a red card there, and the Viking had that 10 men. Bjorshaw coming on for Sybil Onsen. But Viking are now man down. This is a perfect opportunity to try and steal this now. Tabak. Through the gap to Kane. Will it be immediate, the impact? Bidovic. Tabak again. Bidovic. Oh, first time shoots. It was the point taking a touch. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. They've cleared it away, but the refs pulled it back for a foul. If Vidovic had just taken that shot first time, we might have seen a 2 1 scoreline. But that sending off has really opened up the game a little bit more for us now. Oh, he's Luca Bailey the in the way. A lot more confidence now from us. Maybe I should have kept Shuhu on. It's just switched player without me saying so. That's cool. And, the pass was and they've just, target. I don't know what they've done there with that. Wilkins throws it to Brown into Rafael Alexandra here. Kane. Kane. Oh, it's heavy. Well, or is it? Yeah, it is. Or I had that the whole time. Strength and Brown win this? I doubt it. No, he's behind his man. Fancy switching to the player I want to use there. I think it was. But I honestly don't know anymore. Really good attacking. Bailey, I, That's a I don't cross. know how he's done that. High degree of difficulty to hit Are we just not the marking the striker then? No, we just run away from him instead so there. I think that was De Angelis. Right. That was Gomez. Gomez very, or it might be a mixture of both, honestly. Very rare that they make mistakes. Career mode is lagging, by the way. That's the state this game is in. Like the actual gameplay itself is lagging rather than internet problems or anything like that. Eyes Andre off to Brown. They might play for extra time, you know. I don't even know what it is in this uh, preseason tournament. It might just go straight penalties. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. As if we don't get a winner. Can they forge ahead? Just shoot! I, I don't know why he's chested that for control. Oh, fuck it. Pile driver. Okay, it wasn't really a pile driver at all. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. That was probably the opposite of a pile driver, if anything. I don't know. I, thought, I think it was Brown in that situation there who I dinked it into and he took a, like, a touch with his chest. Either just header it or shoot it, mate. And the ball with Bell. Alexandra's put a tackle in, but we won't like, believe that it's happened because it didn't happen. Very good tackle from Gomez, and 
I've been fouled. Oh. I've not been fouled then. He kicked me, but I've not been fouled, no. <laughs> offside, and I think we have to bring the heavy hitter on. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. I don't know if he'll be a heavy hitter, but we'll bring him on anyway. Freshen it up a little bit. Vidovic hasn't been awful today, to be honest. A bit better by him. Who scored our goal? I don't remember who scored our goal. Gomez. I want to say it was uh, Shu Hu, but I'm not 100%. Alexandre. Tabak. Loyal Tanzio. Has the pace, just doesn't have the physicality, really. Whereas Alan Kane doesn't have either. Tabak. Latanzio. I don't know why I've left the ball behind, but okay. Brown. Mason. Oh, it's a great save from Orr. Well, he's just kept them in this. I really thought our future. I can't really call him a future star. Our star scored that. Our homegrown talent. Not saved. And now, Isaac Brown, you need to aim for Gomez here. You absolutely have to. And there's the delivery. It's in for, it's in for, the, it's in for the smallest player in the box. Okay. Right, well, that's that. That's that then for that. And just five minutes remaining. Angeles. Cuts it off. Away. And Wilkins now. Tabak. Well, to Mason. Oh, one more to Rafa Alexandre. <laughs> to make it 2 1. <laughs> it's a stupid finish, but it's in. <laughs> that might be the winner. I don't know how it's gone in quite like that. So it's more or less at or, but well, um, this again. The one and two touch yeah, 2-1. Brilliant. Goal. The play was good, the shot was shit, the save should have been made, but it's a goal. <laughs> the CDM coming in clutch, and it's a Jay Mason assist, he's already made an impact. Raphael Alexandre, the first goal in the preseason tournament could be one of the most important and we just need to hold on well, a if we beat Viking we get to the final of the preseason tournament well I'm, not, I'm getting hyped center. because it's a lot of money for us if we do win it oh, that's a fine pass. it's a brilliant Down pass to Cabrera if it works and it does this it's such a good over I don't know where Wilkins is Leishka's been fouled I'll just relax a little bit the Once that was meant for the centre back. Tabak. The Mason. It looks likely that we'll make it through. Latanzio's just available. timed that perfectly. But it's way out Crossing to the side. Oh, it's really good play between Laura Latanzio and Kane there. What a ball in from the young Aussie. Kane just didn't have enough space. And it might be a last, last gasp effort here for Viking. You've got to be fucking joking. You've got to be fucking joking. I've never been more... Well, that's a lie. I've never been more annoyed recently with Roman Lischka in my life. How it's straight forward and he's dove to the side. I don't know if it's penalties... I don't know if it's extra time. I don't know what it is, but we're going to it. The last kick of the game, Berisha has just saved it. It's a fucking... It's what Marin did for us in the Pacos Ferreira game to get through in the first place. And now it's going to be, I think, penalties. Bloody brilliant, man. I hate penalties. If we get knocked out, we tried. If we go through, brilliant. But I hate penalties. I'm honestly... Not bothered either way how this goes. Theo Johnson giving the team talk, the tactics. 58 to 42 in terms of possession for ourselves. Nine shots to seven for them, but we have more expected goals in the end with 3.6 to their 2.7. Ah, uh, right. Let's and do it. it is penalty shootout. The penalty shootout. Job done. Oh, this game went the wrong way. He had to score. Oh, Tanzio he coolly, Can calm and collected, puts it away. Berisha. Oh, Saved by Lishka. Mason puts it down the middle. 
And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Cup run. Clinical as oh, it's down the middle. Goal. Alan Kane. In it goes. Down the left, coolly dispatched. Tangen. And he's beaten. They've got to put it to the left at some point, man. Come on. Alexandre. So lethal in front of goal. Oh my god, I thought I just fucked it with the timing, but he's just about put it in. If Roman Lishka saves this, we go through to the final. Bell versus Lishka. Well, the Panenka you little cunt. You little fucking cunt. You chipped it me. It's down shoulder. to Isaac Brown versus Orr in the Viking net. Isaac Brown. Well, the it's saved, I just knew, I just fucking knew it was going to be saved as well. Vivatne. Oh, fuck here. off, yeah. And now it's on Dalton Wilkins. Oh my god, we've lost. It's over. And he finds the net. It's not he over yet. Can he remain calm? Patty Nama. He scored they just go to left Bruno. every time now. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's down to Luca Bailey. And confidently oh my god, I thought for a brief second. Cool? Stensness. Saved by Lishka. Who's it down to now? Albert Gomez, the captain of the, the day. Match. Can he take it? And he yes, he can! Through to the moment. final. I know it's only a pre-season tournament, but that's nerves well, of steel right there. For him, but he shows so much conviction, doesn't he? What a finish to this semi-final. Fucking Christ almighty. Well, this again. episode's it's definitely going over three hours now. Straight down the middle. <laughs> Keepers committed. Albert Gomez. Cool as you like. The captain winning it for us on the penalty shootout. Brilliance from the spot 7-6 on penalties it went the distance <laughs> oh thank god for that but will we win the final we take it on penalties Seven six. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I thought Alexandre won it for us in normal time, but Berisha with the last kick of the game. Kept Viking in it. But then penalties. Penalties done it for us. Once again, the stats 58 to 42 in terms of possession. Nine shots to seven for them. And 3.6 expected goals to 2.7 that they had. We take it on penalties. Take a look at the stats. Raphael Alexandre, man of the match. No real standouts for us, to be honest, but Alexandre edges it. Goal for him in a 7.1. The CDM getting the man of the match. Tabak up there as well with an assist in a 6.9. Shuhu with a goal at a 6.9 rating as well. And I don't think we had another assistant, did we? Um, but well done to everybody there. Nerves of steel in the penalty show. <laughs> Any assist? Oh, it was. It was Jay Mason with the assist, but he came on very late. 6.3 um, for him. Looking at the goalkeeping stats, I think actually their goalkeeper is better than Lishka, but we'll take a look anyway. Five shots on our goal, three saves, two conceded, um, 60%, not too shabby. Looking at their ratings, man, the match for them was, um, oh, hello, it's glitched. Arisha with a goal and a seven rating. Bell with a goal and a seven rating as well. The assist came from Tangen with a 6.7 rating. How did their keeper do? Trim, Solberg, or Seven shots in his goal. He saved five, but conceded two. He saved one in the shootout, but conceded seven. How did Lishka do in the shootout? Two saves. That's what did it for us. Two saves in the shootout. And we advance to the preseason tournament final against fucking Charleroi. They beat us in the group 4-1. What, like, what can we do? Viking won on pens. No, they didn't. That's a glitch. <laughs> I love when the game just glitches out. 
Haynes is happy that he's been promoted. We get 1.18 million to add to the budget, or 1.118 million. Um, I was impressed, son. Yeah, you'll probably be cup cup games at best, possibly even a loan deal. But it also depends on um, what happens with Susak if he goes out on loan. The loan offer for Timo Galakin. Two years to Chindia in the Romanian league. Still went here back on the Alan Gallagher transfer. Negotiations are ongoing. Charleroi stand in the way of us and a lot more money. But this is this is the fucking brilliance. We won on penalties seven six. Wait, what? He's still here, though. I'm, confu I'm confused. All right, let's read that again. I'll read through it because it might actually be his retirement. But I, I, what the, I've, not, I've never seen this in my life. Callum Lees has sadly confirmed that this is his, or that his recent injury has convinced him to call it a day. Fighting back tears in an emotional interview, he explained. At my age, you just don't recover as quickly and it gets harder each time to come back. So with a heavy heart, I've made the decision to retire from professional football today. The midfielder will be sorely missed by Collingwood fans. I mean, he will. I mean, I wasn't going to use him a lot, but he will definitely. Bro, that's our two main midfielders gone. The two OG midfielders. Finley Lucas retired at the end of last season, and uh, Callum Lees, I think, is retired due to the injury. He might come back, I don't know, but like, he's still in the squad, but I don't know if he'll get removed or what. That's, I've never seen that. Let's get an update on the biggest signings while we're here. Jules Kunde has gone from Chelsea to Atletico. I think that's Andre Silva, he's moved from Leipzig to Monaco. And then Vlahovic has gone from Fiorentina to Wolves. Of all the teams that could want him, he's gone to Wolves. Obviously, we'll look at them at the end of August, which will be a couple of episodes down the line. Uh, the biggest deals. What the fuck, though? I don't, I've never seen that kind of article in my life. Callum Lees is calling it a day, I think. Might as well go all out. Balls to the wall with the players. The best squad we can bring out. Still yet to sign a fullback, but we're waiting on all the scout reports to come back. I'm actually going to start Volchenkov. No, I, I said the best squad. I'm, I'm sorry. He, he deserves it. I think I'm going to give... Um, yeah, I'm going to give Alan Kane one last chance to show what he's made of. Just to see uh, what he can do before the end of preseason. He may go out on loan. He may not. This game will decide that pretty much is what I'm saying. We played against these guys already because we got battered by them in the group. But now it's where it means something. Lishka in goal. Born and Allo as a fullback. DeAngelis and Gomez as a centre-backs. If you're eagle-eyed like I am, you see an immediate problem. And also, if that means Lees is retired, then Mason becomes a full-on first-team captain. I mean, we might. I'm going to start at the hierarchy at the start of the season. I think Mason will probably be the first team captain anyway. But at the moment, as it stands, Mason is the first team captain. Like at the moment, it's just like an interim kind of thing. But like we said, we'll start at the captaincy when we start at the kit numbers, which will be before the game against Crew. I believe we start against this season. Anyway, let's get in goal. Bornal is the fullbacks. DeAngelo and Gomez as the centre backs. Alexandre CDM. Caballero Meshkov the centre mids. Jay Mason, the cam, and then Shuhu and Alan Kane up top. This was the one game we didn't play with this formation on, the 4 one 2 2 narrow, and it showed because we stank. 5-3-2 for Charleroi, though, and they're playing more or less the same team. Some tired and some not. Let's see if we can win the preseason trophy. There's no doubt in my mind this is going to be the longest episode of the series so far, so I hope you enjoyed the long haul here. And um, we've still got some transfer stuff to do before we head off, even after this game. Oh, I don't want to do any more penalties. No, I've just, I've just, I've just taken a penalty and realised I don't want to do any more. <laughs> I've had enough penalties. <laughs> if this goes to penalty shoot up, bro, I'll be crying in the club.
Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an Let's exciting see what we prospect got. nonetheless. My name is Derek Ray, and my Have we got a team that's actually going to win against Charleroi? We've got a team that's going to struggle European once again against Charleroi. They probably are the best team. Well, it's been a fabulous tournament. Great I forgot again that we kicked off because it's quicker on the preseason thing. Jay Mason, happy, try Let's to get in there. Keeps that smile on your face. Whether we win or lose, the drama of the semi-final we'll is enough to make an episode, in my opinion. And tremendous individual skill. Then again, Nicholson has absolutely done my defender then. Blasted it way off target into somewhere else. Goal kick. The last match of the stream either way, whether we win or whether we lose, because next it'll be League One kickoff. I'm going to leave that. Nikolai Allo, one of the trademark oh, runs. Charleroi don't know what they're in for here. Nikolai Allo's gone all the way through, and it's been saved brilliantly by Coffey. But what a run from Nikolai Allo. The trademark runs well, you can outside of England. You won't really know about that. In particular. And if we do get a new right back, I don't know how many more of them we'll see. Obviously, Alo will stay as backup. He'll be a very good backup as well. Meshkov throwing it off to Alo. It's just more because he's going to be 31 at the end of the season, I think, or 31 now, actually. I don't know if he's 31 now. But basically, the point is, he's going to be older, and I need someone in League One who's going to be younger and will grow up the leagues with us. Alo, this could be his last season. I was going to sell him at the end of Season 2, but... I feel like we just need him a little bit longer. I don't know how I've knocked Mason. him to the floor when he's going for the tackle. Mason Kane. to Kane. I've tried it. I don't know if it's onside. It won't matter anyway. It's gone straight to the hands of Coffey. Kayembe was a problem last time. and Luca Bailey couldn't handle him. Hopefully Al looking have a different fate. It's come to Alan Kane. Jay Mason charging forward. Referee. Ref, no, we're not doing advantage on that. There's no advantage there. I'm on the floor and I've been fouled. So we're going getting a yellow. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there. He's not going to take any messing about here. No doubt in my mind that that's a foul there. So we'll take that. That being said, maybe I shouldn't have taken that. I should have just let the game run its course, but... I don't know, Jim Mason could maybe whack one from here. I'm joking, by the way. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Now that short pass, this could be interesting. It, wasn't, it was more for uh, DeAngelis, to be honest, Mason. but I couldn't really get the angle on the pass. Jim Mason's been fouled again. <laughs> we're just <laughs> we're just baiting in fouls from him each time. Could have been another yellow card there. It might be. I don't even know if it was a guy with the yellow card already. I think it might be a different person, but somehow not a booking. I will strike this just for fun. I won't actually. He's played it short here, and Gomez with it. Uh, potential danger. Meshkov! Oh, he's straight at the keeper. Gomez to Mason. It won't quite get to our homegrown talent. Nicholson. Yeah, just with a tackle. It's a very good tackle as well. Shuhu. Through to Alan Kane. Come on, Alan. Get past Wazinski. I'm not going to get past him. I might try to turn. But he, he, had, he had me red. Lovely ball over the top. And for some reason, our opponents just decide I'm playing set of mid now. And Williams is like, okay, I'll just have all the space in the world on the right then. I don't know what this guy's plan is, but I've, oh, I've fucking, I've fucked it up here. Morioka. Have I? Can they find a gap in the defence? Very good play, and they're going to get the rebound and score because they're fucking nonces. The 
play initially was good, but at least we should save it straight back into their path and they're in the lead against us again. Charleroi might be our bulky team in this preseason tournament. Well, here it is again. And I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. The NBA plays that. it in. I thought I was going to intercept it with Alo, and then and I thought Gomez level, was going to get across so, as well, but you know what Thought did? Let goals in. There's nothing Lishka can do about that one. He's still recovering from the first save. I mean, he could have maybe saved it into a better position than at the striker's feet again, but what can you do? Shamar Nicholson. Two goals. Both come past us in this tournament, but it's the second goal of the tournament. One nil then. Right. Come on, boys. We want to end this with a silverware after that penalty shootout. I know it's not a silverware that really means much, but... Come on. Also, that goalkeeper, by the way, Coffee. I might have to sign him. I've not. Well I've played it to Caballero. I've actually played it to Caballero fully. I want to see if it shows it, but I've aimed for Caballero. It doesn't even remotely. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's just locked on to the guy's marked. But it was meant for Caballero. Alvian. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. That's gonna go to either the keeper. the keeper. I mean I was definitely outside my area there, but okay. I say either the keeper or it goes out of play, but I, I definitely handle it outside my area there, so <laughs> Don't know how we go with that one. Sure who. Let me that gap through. Oh, yeah, Fanny. Sure Red like a book. Happen. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Kayembe. Kayembe's a pain, middle. man. He's too good. I don't even remember what his rating was from the first time around, but... I won't let me switch to Gomez before the shot's off there by, uh, I think it was Nicholson again. I tried to switch to Gomez so I could get in the way of Nicholson receiving that pass. I just didn't do it. Nikolai Allo run, trademark. Kiembe's blocked him and stopped him in his tracks, which makes sense because it needed to be done. Otherwise he's going through again. Allo to Kane. Mason. Jay Mason. Meshkov. That's fucking. I mean, at least it's in our possession. It wasn't where I was going for, but. Oh, it's blocked. Fuck's sake, I thought Mason had got it there. Caballero. Mason again. I try to draw fouls, to be honest, at this point with the man. Caballero. Blocked. Mason wins the ball. Back into Caballero. And for that chance to level the game. A referee, man. Card, it's going to be a red card. Sort of it's a second yellow. And, a second and that's our chance. Zorgan's been done, sent Stuart. off here. The and there's no doubt about it. It's, it's a definite like yellow. And he was already on one, so... You can't argue with it. That's fucking awful. And... I mean... It's an opening for us. Charleroi down to ten men. It's the same thing that happened with Viking. I mean, we nearly didn't take advantage of that opening against Viking, but we've got a very big chance here. I'm going to try and score. I probably missed this because I can't do a free kick, so I'm going to try and score this for Jay Mason. And that is oh! Of the very highest order. God's a sake! Here it's really the power that lets me down each time, but I feel match. like I do any more power, it'll go over. That was curling in though. That was fully curling in. With the man advantage, we've got to take advantage and try and win this now. Jay Mason. Towards Gomez. He's not won it somehow. How has he not won it? He's six foot six. Could be threatening. Nicely blocked. Oh, he's taking a shot on still. <laughs> blocked. We've got so much attacking pressure on these guys and we just can't find the net. It seems that they're a really good goalkeeper or they're a really good defence. It just won't let us through. It's fucking irritating, man. It's going to be a bugger to upload as well. It's going to be a pain in the arse. How it'll be the longest episode of the series so far. 
He's driven in the corner. Caballero. Well, he he's won the header at least. You've got to give him credit for winning the header, even if it was just targets. fucking dog shit. Especially as it wasn't even meant for him. I want to try and get a bit more towards Gomez, but. Didn't quite work, obviously. We've got plenty of time. There's not 10 men in the first half. We've got a lot of time to try and bring this back, but their goalkeeper is ridiculous, apparently. Word on their street, their goalkeeper is mental. I don't want to say it's one of those where if we go 2-0 down, we've lost, because we do have a man advantage now, but... We go 2 0 down, we're not helping our case. And you've got to be. By not, I'm not having this from this game. I'm not having this from this game. I don't know what I'm more annoyed about. The fact that nobody is marking him, or the fact that that's actually gone in when it's right at Lishka. Either way, it's the stupidest fucking shit in the world. Arlo Bourne should be on him, isn't And it's just, it? And it just shouldn't go in, should it? Like, what the fuck? I think we're just going to have to accept in this career mode we're going to be conceding a lot of goals. And that's just how it is. It's just because it was a 45th minute, I think. Mm, they've read me. Ah, okay. Whatever. Right. I don't know what's going wrong, but it's not going right. Their goalkeeper is ridiculous. Lishka's decided to play his worst game for a while. Unless we count, of course, the first time we played these guys. Which, actually, we had Dordovic in net for that, so... Never mind. I don't know how we're not... Like, on the same amount of goals as them. Look at that, bruv. 53 to 47 in terms of possession. Six shots to five. I mean, they have more expected goals, 3.6 or 2.1, and all that. But for fuck's sake, they've got a man down. We might have to bring on Laura Latanzio to have a pace advantage, really, but they've made a substitution. Bedia coming up for Zaroui. He scored last time so against us, so... <sighs> right. After all the drama of the penalty shootout, I don't want to lose this, and I really don't want to go to another penalty shootout either, to be honest. Now, what can they do from here? Okay. To keep the ball. Alan Kane gets intercepted off of him. Oh, well, the ball with a good tackle. Not for a second, he just make, make it past me like he made it past Kane there. Alvi Jan. Riotta Morioka with it. Chance to cross. Eskov comes across. Tackle. It's going to be a difficult one. I know they will get, uh, like, they're missing a man, but it's still. A difficult one, they're very good. Excellent Caballero to Kane. Shuhu. Unleash him, please. Nice. This has finally gone through, Stuart. Well, I think he'll fit in well to their style of play. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, just, he's bounced off my fucking head. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Might have actually bounced off my hand if it's going to be a free kick to them. But this goalkeeper, man, he's too... I'm signing him. I've had enough. I'm signing him. Oh, shoo who You've got to get your foot in there, lad. Meshkov gets it. Again. Alexandre. Kane. Caballero. Caballero. I get back through to Kane, but it's closed down. Alexandre. Sure who? Mason. I want more to Meshkov. I just, I'm, I just, I don't know how I'm meant to beat this plan. I what? Caballero's got to win this. He does. Sure who? I've passed that before. I've been tackled, and I'm. I, I know I say that a lot, but I am fully 100%. I did it that time. Who? Who? It's these touches. The touches are fucking bogus, man. Morioka coming off for bench. Aib. He's got bench in his name. Of course, he's on the bench.
And it leaves my players in a place where I can't really mark. I don't I don't understand that from throw-ins and everything, but whatever. I guess. Can they create something I'm just I'm out of energy, man. I'm getting run over by a ten man Belgium team. And their goalkeeper is just the best in the world. They should sign him up for the fucking Belgian national team, bro. Ridiculous. There's no way Nicholson's gonna track that far back. Fuck off your striker. He continues his run. Suhu to Meshkov. Options, any of them. Anyone want to be there for one? I think we're all going to take the L on this one. But at least we had a good run. I'm more annoyed that we're going to be losing to a 10 man team, to be honest. Can I switch that back to Allo? No, I don't, I don't want to anyway. Yeah, relatable. Yeah, that's really relatable. The fact that this game is fucking wank. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed in this game, apparently. I'm just not allowed to do what I want. It takes two seconds to switch to Allo, which I don't know if you would have got across in time anyway, but... Liska, arm up. You saved that, yeah? Didn't really want to try for that one, did you? What sort of fucking technique is that? I thought he took it with his right foot. Well, they've decided to make a change. As they Fuck the me sideways, say, bruv. I don't really know what to tell you. I've done what huge. I can. <laughs> Ref. And that is how to win the no. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm not even bothered anymore. We've lost this game as it is. Volchenkov well, might Technique steal this one here, but I doubt it. The, the keeper's on top form. Well, a keeper on song. And it's well, not even a great shot. I'm not even going to complain about it because it was an awful shot. Granted, the keeper's been very good, but... It wasn't a great finish by any means. How are you falling over, you fucking tripod? I'm just, I'm just wondering how, how far open we want it to be left there, because apparently the answer is very. Bro, if I ever come up against these guys in the European competition, I've got a lot better team. Just no, oh, smash him. Nicholson gets his hat trick. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much. Lishka's power. decided just to play his absolute worst. As long as he gets his worst out today and he's good for the league, then fine. But like, it's ridiculous. Everything just goes in for them. And yet my goal, uh, or their goalkeeper just decides I'm uh, fucking Superman today. They've just been better than us. I mean, they have, like, well, I don't even know if they've been better than us, to be honest. I, I, honestly, they haven't been better than us. They've just had the luck on their side. I was thinking about it there, and they've actually been full value here. They shouldn't be a 4-0. Oh, yeah, empty the wrong player, and they're going to come in and accept it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Stay, stay. Chris Bedia. Nicholson. Good vision. Can he get onto this? I really can't wait for these new fullbacks to come in, depending on who they are. I don't even know who they're going to be yet. But Alo and Bourne are just feeling rusty as fuck. Very good by De Angelis, as per usual. Oh, but the fucking game is stupid. That actually that actually was gonna go in. What just what just fucking happened? I know the game's out of reach, and it's not going to matter. Well, as you I'm trying to switch to my defender, and it, I'm not allowed to defend. Like, I'm allowed to control like the one person that's there. That's not a Gomez own goal. That's not a Gomez own goal. I'd rather have Nicholson have a fourth than that be a Gomez own goal. I think Nicholson. I don't know what the fuck Lishka's doing. I think Nicholson's headed that. That's not as bad, but what the fuck is that? The game is doing its best impression of something I never want to play again. Oh, it's Bedia. Yeah. It's not even oh Nicholson. Goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. 
The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. It's a t it's a ten man a team. I completely forgot till just now that they are the red card. Should come from the manager. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If they're not careful, they're going to lose another player fairly soon. And we've been fucking bollocks. We've been worse. So we've had ten men. The win. They had eleven. We're five nil down. Fuck me, and I, the only reason we haven't scored is because they keep us on smoke today. Keep a woke up feeling dangerous. Wonderful I've done a fir I've done a first time pass there with Meshkov, and apparently he's just delayed his brain, which is cool. Alvi Jan. I couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. I'm not even making any more substitutions. There's no point. The game's gone. It's gone. I don't understand how they can go down ten men and yet be better. Possession one. No, there's no shot that Alexander's injured, right? There's no shot. If he's injured for the season, Nicholson. I'm fucking quitting the screen mode on. So I don't know. My main CDM is injured now. Playing like fucking prime cunty fucking cunts, mate. He's actually injured. We might have to rotate to a formation that doesn't need a CDM if Alexander is out for the long term. Fucking uh, as if it as if it couldn't be worse already. Not only are we five 0 down to a team of ten men, we've all we've already got um who is it? Callum Lee's out for probably the rest of his career. And then we've got Alexandre, who I think is out, but we've not been allowed to make a there we go. I really hope that's not long term. We'll have Tabak just plug the gap because it doesn't matter for now. If it comes to a case where Alexandre, he's just running to the corner flag. If Alexandre is out for good or for a long time, then um, we're going to have to go for a, either a CDM or go for a formation that doesn't require a CDM. Played over. Well, not cleared away completely. If that isn't. Whatever. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough. I was saying, the day wasn't even bad enough. I've just tried to do a simple pass to Mason. It's fallen straight to their striker who's booted it in with no problem. And that's why the ball's in the back of their net. No one's tried to block it. Lishka has given it his all that time. For once, he's actually done almost well. Bedia gets his second of the game and Charleroi sixth. I'm not even, I don't even want to well, fucking, I'm not even dignifying this game. The outcome, there is no way this should be 6-0. What a shit end to a good stream, and it just, the, it's fine, I'm not even going to complain anymore. I, I was about to just go into another complaint there about the passing, but there's no point in complaining about it when we know that it's the issue that's just not going to fucking solve. That's which the goal is, and it's seven. Eight, yep, yeah, okay. Wanted to switch this fucking Gomez there to block that, but of course... It's they. It's I'm not. Well, here it no is watching at this point anyway. It doesn't even matter. Everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. Nicholson gets his four for the day. I like. I mean, I don't even want to blame on Lishka because it's it's a scripting fucking thing. It's fully scripted for them to win 7 0 here. I'm passing it around the back. I don't even care. There's nothing we can do. He started the game with one goal in four matches. But in this game, he scored four. And he's probably a top scorer of the tournament. And good for him, I guess. Charleroi probably won't even win the Belgian League anyway. So at least it's a bit of solace. I just I don't understand how it could be talking. At least let me have the chance, man, to get a consolation. He just blows the whistle immediately there. I didn't have any. I don't have any words. I just don't have any words. 
in the last, or in the second half the there, it scored the five goals. And I don't really know how I was meant to do yes, anything for any of them. The marker, the I'll let them have their moment, but like, what the shit? Ideal. There's not much I can do there. Well, oh, in fact, there's actually the nothing I can do there. Once the game decides that a team's going to absolutely demolish it, then that's it. Look at those celebrations. Defending goes out the window. Goalkeeping just goes to shit. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway. It is mind-boggling. It fucking is. I don't... This game sometimes just wants to fucking piss me off. And it does a very good job of it. And it's only a pre-season fucking trophy. And now I think the there's a glitch there with the celebration. But, um, and enjoy having the pictures taken. It's only a pre-season well, trophy. And it still pissed come, me off they? so much Certainly that I couldn't fucking play FIFA there. That is ridiculous. That's a game that will firmly be forgotten because I'm not... I'm not remembering that. That's a pre-season game anyway, so it doesn't count towards the actual season. Like, what the fuck have I just been on the receiving end of? <laughs> and the stats make it look close. That was not a 7-0 by any means. 52 to 48 in terms of possession. 12 shots to our 9. 6.8 expected goals to our 3.7. They did deserve the win. I'm not going to fucking begrudge them that. But it's not a 7-0. There is no shot. That's just FIFA deciding, fuck it. Everything goes in. There's nothing I can do there. Alan Kane, man of the match. That, that, that just shows. I don't think he did anything. Nobody did anything. We had so many chances that nobody could put away. Lishka gets a 5.2. 11 shots in his goal. Granted, he's saved four, but he's let seven in. DeAndre and Gomez with fives. Oh, boy. Fuck off. Right, so let's get through their whole team of wonderful players. Nicholson from centre mid, man of the match. I mean, obviously, I switched the formation, I think, at the end there, and he started at striker, but... Four goals and a 10 rating. Urijan with a goal and an assist and a 9.5. Bedi with two goals and an 8.9. Coffey, 8.8 in goal. No fucking doubt. I, I tried and I tried and I tried, and I just, I just couldn't. He, he was on his game today. He might be one I sign, honestly. I genuinely could sign him if he's young enough. Six shots, six saves. Hat-trick of assist for Bench Aib, who I'm pretty sure came in off the bench. Kayembe with an assist and a 7.5. All right, cool, whatever. That's all covered. Let's get rid of this off my screen. I'm going to take a look at fucking Coffee. I know he's 75 rated. And if he's young enough, I may actually sign him because he was ridiculous. If he's obviously an age where, like, over 25-ish probably, yeah, I would fuck off my screen. Um, if he's like over 25, then I probably won't sign him. <laughs> so I'm trying to sign a younger talent. So we'll get a load of scout reports here. Before I look at them, we're actually going to take a little look at our um, nemesis of the goalkeepers. That nearly says Gerald shithole, and I read it as shithole, to be honest. It's the goalkeeper, Hervé Coffey. He's 26. By no means is he awful, but I don't think he would sign for us anyway. And also, I'm not going to sign him because I don't. I I, I want to, but I I won't. Right. So, Yaroslav Sukup. What's he looking like? Ooh, ooh. I think these are all the players that have just come through. But Marais. Oh, we'd be set for the rest of the career mode if we went for Adriano Moraes. Also, it would be too easy to get up to the next leagues, but who cares, man? Like, like how, do I, how do you pass up on a talent like that? Adriano Moraes, wonderful. Juan Madrazo, not awful by any means. He's a 75 overall. Leandro Castro was probably a, um, hit, a swing and a miss, to be honest, as was Mikhail Hansen and Yildrim Dursun, But As well, Yaroslav Sukup, brilliant. Um, Yishimura, but I think there's only one man we go for. Adriano Moraes will be coming to, hopefully coming to Cullenworth very, very soon. And then we're about to have our right-back scouts as well. See who we're bringing in to fucking pump up that position. 
once the reports obviously come through, we'll have our training day. I'm not doing the training itself. I can't be bothered. I just don't care. I think we have slightly less right backs on the cards, but we might still get a brilliant one. Lecomte, Ferretti, and Esposito. So it looks like we're going for uh, Marias and uh, Ferretti here. That's fine. They're both very good. Uh, Esposito, I really want him to be good because of his name. Alan Gallagher's still here. Fuck off. I'm actually about to... If he doesn't go by the end of the window, I'm releasing him. Right, let's get these new boys in. And get him on some development plans as well. We'll have to pay quite a bit, apparently, on his wage. He might be the highest, play, uh, highest paid player in the club. It should be Jay Mason, but he doesn't really give a fuck about his contract. He's just happy to be here. Absolutely. I may let Arlen Bond stay as backup. I don't know why I put two years. Why did I put two years? What am I on about? Yes. All right, can you ask for wage? Because I don't really know what to go for. Four point... I don't even care about the bonuses. That is ridiculously easy. And Ferretti, he can play both sides as well. How much do we have to... Yeah, he only wants important. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Four years, yeah. We'll do four. I don't know if he's going to be anywhere near as good as... Um, I think it's Marcelo. It's got to be Marcelo's regen, doesn't it? Take the appearance bonus off. You can ask for a bit more wage if you like, lad. Uh, 4k, that's fine. Bro, we have just signed two of the best free agent fullbacks. We won't have to change that position again, I don't think. There's only a few situations where we'll actually have to do something. CDM's going to be a bit of a maybe. I'm not sure whether to get a new player in for that. Oh, so I need to check Alexandre's injury. <coughs> I forgot about it completely. So this more or less looks like our starting squad. Obviously, Vidovic will be swapped by Caballero, but we'll figure that out at the start of the season. Bloody hell, Moraes. Is that, he's got to be Marcelo's region. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a screenshot and ask people in my Discord if he's Marcelo's region. He looks absolutely like it. Uh, development plan. I'm just going to take a screenshot quickly. It might lag. Alright, so what do we even what do we even add? To? I guess pace needs a bit more. Um, but what else do you really add to a guy who's more or less complete? <laughs> we'll do an attacking wide back. And then... Um, Ferretti as well, put a little development plan on him. That's our set for fullbacks. I think he's oh, has he reached his max growth? Oh, we might have oh we might have fucked it here. We're set for left back anyway, right back might be a Oh, I didn't realise. Ah, oh, bastard. Well, we've still got Alo to be the backup if Ferretti doesn't work out, but he was the best out of the bad bunch there. Or the bunch there, not the bad bunch by any means. Let's just move on to the start of the season now. I beg some transfer offers come in. Or even loan offers for some of the players. Because there's going to be a lot of unhappy campers if we don't get some loans going. Where's Galini gone? Did Galini go to Leicester? Leeds have signed um, whoever the fight is, but he's gone to the next page. Fuck it, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to see that. All right. Oh yeah, it keeps the fucking Nicholson Nicholson thing on the longest. Yeah. All right, you have to shank a loan offer. You're not getting a loan to buy. It's just a it's just a one season thing to give him a bit more growth because he could be very good. I mean, he has a cam, so I don't know if he'll. Oh, uh, it's actually he has a cam, isn't he? Cam set. The cam is set. Chindia have got Timur Gallic in for two years. But there's not going to be any changes to the cam spot. We've got the homegrown talent, Jay Mason. And not only that, we've got Milan Vidovic to back him up. 
It's ridiculous. But we're set for that position. So out of the positions so far, we'll do a quick little review. I think we might have to switch from not having a CDM. We'll figure that out at the start of next episode. Um, I also still like to look at his injury. So Lishka, we're probably going to have to replace later on. Left back, we're set. Marais is going to be there for the rest of the season. DeAndres and Gomez, I think we're set too. Ferretti, we'll have to see on, but I think he probably will be set as well. Alexandria will be set once he comes back to full fitness. Caballero is probably one that will stay for the rest of the career mode. Marin, I'm not sure yet. Jay Mason, absolutely. Um, Shuhu is set. Volchenkov, I don't know on yet. And Loyal Tanzio, and obviously he shares that spot more or less with Volchenkov. He'll probably go as we move up to the championship. But we'll see. Uh, player chat. We just had that from Bruno Caballero. He wants to be in the game. He will be in the game. We're going to start off strong. But that'll be next episode. Before we do head off though, let's take a look at what the extent of the injury is. For Raphael Alexandre. Two months. It honestly could be worse. It really could be worse. He was holding his knee, but he's got a broken elbow. It's going to be a bit of a hampering to our season to start off with. The CDM spot is not really our deepest in this club. In terms of backup in the uh, Youth Academy for CDMs, we aren't stacked. We've got Zolnarovic, who even if we wanted to call him up, we can't because he's 15. And for a while, uh, Dragic, I might have to let go. We're going to get some um, updates on the scout report. I think it's going to be every third because that's when I set it up. We'll get some new youth players in there. Hopefully we'll get CDM out of that bunch and it'll be a very good one. So after the crew game, before the Burton game. So we'll be kicking off the season against Crew Alexandra away from home. We'll then have Burton as our first home game. In the cup we'll take on Nottingham Forest. And honestly, I it's gonna be it's gonna be a struggle to get for a turn next league. It's gonna be a lot harder than I initially expected. Top transfers so far are Kunde from Chelsea to Atletico for 108.8 million, Isak from Sociedad to Inter Milan for 85 million, and Andre Silva from Leipzig to Monaco for 76.5. I just I'm gonna try and get the squad as best I can. I think that's what we're gonna start with this season. Um, obviously Mason will be captain. I think Lee's is retired now, unfortunately, which means Mason will be the captain. Next episode, I will start off by doing the kit numbers and by sorting everything out properly. Um, but it's been 202 minutes. It's 3 hours and 20 odd. I just want to make sure we've got everything as we should have. So boss, like, there's a Bradford City career mode legend. Um, I'm genuinely considering maybe going in for an RCDM. Finley Shaw won't be the one I go in for. But maybe next time we'll take a look at some free agents as well. But I don't want to overdo it. Um, mainly because our team is too good as it is if I don't get League 1 promotion there'll be questions about my team really but um, I don't know we'll just have to wait and see what we do with Alexandre he's out for two months I will probably is there any formations just quickly before I do go that I could possibly switch to that doesn't have a CDM it'll probably just have to be a, it might have to be a 4-4-2 flat although that's wide uh, is there a 4-4-2 narrow 4-2-2-2 maybe and we drag the centre defensive mids up a bit. Or even this. The 4 3 one, 2 You know what, actually? I'm, I'll switch back, obviously. But I just want to take a little look here. Caballero be, would be here. We'd have Marin this side. Um, in the centre mid spot there. Would probably be Brown. Honestly. Um, that would probably be what we'd go with. For now, I'm going to switch it back to just what the usual is, because this is our main team sheet. But that might be an idea. We'll figure it out next time. Switch the players back to what our main team sheet would be. Just quickly. But that is what that is what I would most likely do if it came to it. Lee's is going to go down in the overall. He hasn't retired officially yet, but he probably will. Um, that's an un unfortunate end to a career for Callum Lee's. But I'm going to end it there. It's been long enough. I'm just waffling at this point. Next time, we will be kicking off the League One season. I'm going to try and alternate it between these videos and the experiment videos. 
Uh, tomorrow, I'll try and get season two out of the experiment video, the 92 uh, club Super League career mode. Then the day after, obviously, we'll come back to kick off League One, so on and so forth, until I get back to work anyway. That'll probably be the upload schedule. But I go back to work on the 10th. Today's the 1st. So we've got a bit of time to try and maybe alternate uploads, but we'll see how it goes around. But I hope you guys have enjoyed Season uh, 3, Episode 1 of the Cullenworth FC Creative Club career mode. Started off strong, ended like shit, but uh, fun journey anyway. We've got two mad fullbacks in, especially Moraes, who I believe is Marcelo's regen, but I'll try and get opinions on that in the Discord. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed, though, like I said, and I'll see you next time. Before I do, though, I'm going to save just to make sure it doesn't, like, because sometimes it crashes. <laughs> but yeah, all right, for realsies, though. See you next time.